and welcome Hello. to Housebound Adventuring episode. Enter Jenny here. Twenty <laughs> eight nine. We have to gain with you guys saying, let's go to the sewers. We did. And we're going to the sewers. And then you went to the sewers. And we're there. And now wow. you're in the sewers. <laughs> Don't we still have our Definitely. waders? Didn't we have some? You did have. Did we bring them with us. Did I assume you left them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we <laughs> that's like. That's a very good point. That's, if, the, that's if, a better question. And God. if the rule is that if we say we didn't pick it up, we didn't pick it up, surely the counter rule is if we didn't say we put it down, <laughs> we, didn't we, put didn't it down. Put it we didn't put it down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Would your character have brought the waders? with them yes definitely not in my defense i'm very small and in the last sewers i nearly drowned i could have drowned if i would have fallen in so i think so i probably go. would have kept mine on See? me i'm happy with that Are you guys happy with that <laughs> okay. yeah who came down first i think we usually shove randall out in front of us <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah okay we could roll for it you want to roll for it Right now, first. I wouldn't. I wouldn't make the move to go first. So you two can roll for it. Just me and Randall will play rock it. paper scissors to see which one goes first. Yeah. Ah, fuck. You Wait. win. You go first. I win. I don't go first. <laughs> say you win. You <laughs> get to pick. I would think. I'm gonna see if Nugget wants to come down after Nugget smells what the sewer smells like. Upon <laughs> sniffing the air, <laughs> Nugget recoils immediately and starts shuffling backwards and shaking his head. Okay, you wait out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cook if I need you. Just picturing the like the cats who smell something that they don't like, and then they're like, <laughs> <laughs> "That's exactly weird, what like... I was going for." That's exactly yeah. what I was going for. Um, Maybe we'd need to walk through that bit. Possible. How? <laughs> Face the case is filling. I'll take the quarterstaff and I'll like kind of like slowly ease it down into the sewage to see how far down it goes. So the water itself seems to about be about three feet deep from the estimation that you can get from here. It's how tall is Oro? I'm three and a half feet, but I'm three <laughs> feet in legs. Space. I'm three feet in legs and then the <laughs> half is the rest of it. It's not mine. <laughs> oh, wait. <gasps> I, I took water walking. <gasps> oh, oh, that makes oh. sense. Need the fee. Hold on, let's see here. <laughs> Jenny, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just illustrating what Aura looks like. No, I hadn't cast it yet. I cast it through no. the ring the first yes. time. Yes, 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 because it was masquerading as a ring of water walking. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> at least one of your party members would definitely make your way through it. The smallest of us. Yes. <laughs> For some reason, it's the tallest one. I don't know why. It's just in the shape of one. It's the exact shape of one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tortu's put a thing in chat. Derailing coming. <laughs> I, love the, I love the slow scroll. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, I love oh, oh, my God. Love Is there another torch on the wall? There is a torch, yes. There is one single torch. This one is actually burning a lot brighter than the others. I'm going to reach up and try to pull the torch. Like if it As you do like so. Trigger. Okay, yeah. The kind of lever. As you do so, the torch comes out of the hand when you are holding a torch. All these walls seem solid, so... Yeah, but so did that one. And I pointed the bars. I want to try. <laughs> <laughs> the ins and outs of the like the technicalities of like role playing games and stuff. Like when you when you know somebody's rolled low, you're like, okay, well they fucked up. Someone else yeah. has to try. I that's to that's try. exactly what. <laughs> they rolled a six. Well, clearly we need someone else to have a six. <laughs> oh well, I think God. I think uh, like if you want to turn that into role play, like maybe Oro watched Randall do it and was like. That isn't how you look. That's not how you like... look for things. Yeah. <laughs> and I oh didn't God. roll. So all I did was pull a handle and then go hit a wall. And I was like, nope, <laughs> we're done. Nothing here. I love it. I really love it. Randall, look. It's a, it's a little out. It's like a little bit of Hit the wall with my stick. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a, a hollow thunk, thunk, thunk. Oh, that no. kind of echoes throughout some kind of distant oh, shit. They're gonna know we're here. <laughs> corridor. <laughs> yeah, I feel like for like ten minutes. <laughs> now that this this secret door has been pointed out to you by Aura, you can see that the uh, torch absolutely was the crux of the way to open this door. It in fact, looks like rather than pulling out the torch or pulling the the handle for the torch down, you push it inwards, 
uh, and doing so would probably open the door. So close. So close. <laughs> oh, this is, oh, this is a this is a classic classic secret door. This one and the, it just goes over to the torch. <laughs> uh, is it? Is this you kind of removing the uh, the stealth attempt? Yeah. Okay. Well, clack clack. The sound of your feet on the on the cobblestones <laughs> as you as you show yourself in the doorway. Clack clack. <laughs> Speed reading apparently. Room. <laughs> okay. Clack clack. <laughs> I don't love jumping every space I take. <laughs> clack clack. <laughs> what book are you looking for? Do you, do you happen to have a, a mage hand? That cannot be a book. Just mage hand. <laughs> Mage Hand, the handbook for the single spellcaster. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In here is a gentleman who is wearing nothing but shorts and uh, kind of bandages wrapped around his fists and his knuckles. Uh, are you okay there, Dice? <laughs> when you said nothing but shorts, I just imagined him with like shorts on his head and just, like, <laughs> and just shorts on his sleeves. <laughs> just like shorts all over. you. <laughs> You step over to this side of the sewer. This is the wall that had the Sune graffiti on. And you can hear from inside a, a soft chanting. Oh, hell no, bitch. There's some evil no. shit going on in there. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> he seems to be religious of some sort, which is not surprising to you. Uh, unfortunately, your DM didn't prepare the chant, so it sounds something a little bit like... Sune is so great. I love Sune. Sune is so great. I love Sune. She is so great. I it slaps. <laughs> it didn't you matter. <laughs> absolutely convinced that interacting with this door in any way will explode. Don't touch the door. Don't touch the, the door. door is, the door has got a trap on it. It's, it's, oh, it's a kind of trap. Like a bang, bang trap. My experience with Randall's... Uh, checking for things in a sewer <laughs> today hasn't, hasn't been super <laughs> trustworthy. Yeah. Trust me, just, like, just like that, there is a trap on the floor. No. You're, quite, you you're quite certain that he's incorrect. This looks like, in fact, it's a regular door. <laughs> Show them one of your sex books. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry, I only have one god. <laughs> <laughs> And it's mage hands. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it that you forces. loved that didn't love you? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. 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 Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I'm a professional. <laughs> I'm a professional. <laughs> I say that so often on stream. <laughs> Whenever something goes wrong, right, like, I know what I'm doing. It's fine. It was a planned fail. <laughs> about it. That was deliberate. That was deliberate. <laughs> Thank you for the video school. I appreciate it. I hope you like the highlight video. If you only saw a little bit of it, it's up on YouTube's. Which uh, starts with the link up. Thank you. Who's the author? There isn't, of uh, <laughs> like there isn't a highlight video that you've made that I haven't fucking adored mm -hmm. and watched multiple times. Real talk, yeah. I fucking love every single one of them. Thank you. Right. Doc swooped in there at the end of the highlight video, perfectly timed. Mm -hmm. Like he, like he planned Always it. perfectly on time every time. <laughs> Hope you guys have had uh, a week. Oh boy. I have indeed a had good seven one, days. Preferably. A, a great one, really. That'd be fantastic. Uh, I feel like every but... week is a month in 2020. But... <laughs> <laughs> Either way, we're here now. And we're going to play some Dungeons and Dragons. Hi Mal, hi Fool, hi Adam. Tabletop hi, Adam. RPGs. Oh yeah, Fool, I'm sorry to hear about your lack of power. That was, that was a real shit fest. Uh, seems like I'm missing a part of a Tuesday. 
Wow. <laughs> wow. Sorry, I've got extra. <laughs> but we're back. We're playing some Dungeons and Dragons. You might have caught all that highlight video uh, and be completely up to date. In fact, you might remember more of the game than I do. Uh, and also the police are here. Um, um, but we'll give you a no, they found brief, you. <laughs> very brief reminder of what happened last week is we were in the sewers. We were doing sewery things. We found a fancy illusion that was covering an entrance in the sewers to what looked like some kind of black market full of all sorts of crazy shit that we didn't go and explore. Uh, we found some side shops of the black market, including someone who was selling books, uh, including a mage hand book for single practitioners of magic. <laughs> um, Sorry, this looked a good and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and someone who wanted a tussle, tussle for money, but we weren't interested in shorts, man. Uh, and we decided to explore the rest of the sewers. Poking around, we found a skeleton with the word snitches written on the wall and a little tally chart of all the snitches they'd killed. Uh, and then we poked around and found the uh, people they have, they have referred to themselves as the Chaste Redeemers. The uh, the group uh, led by C Priestess Code, nonetheless. <gasps> Gasp. Gasp. Old Followers of Sune in the sewers. What are they doing there? Well, I may or may not out, be tweeting, if it isn't a shady religion, just like Nurly said. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out that uh, Priestess Code has been converting people who are within the within the Sune religion uh, to be part of her own little cult of individuals who are very much about one love and you got a very traditional you know stay with your partner don't fuck around also brothels are shit fuck brothels um, and they got it out for the succubi who are in the, who were running a very innocent brothel named the forbidden kiss uh they weren't doing any harm they were just having sweet sweet sex <laughs> that was all they were doing for money uh but these guys weren't happy about it so they went and burned one of them alive uh in their bed with holy water bless you bless you thank you i managed <laughs> to mute myself in time so that it wasn't <laughs> right into the microphone <laughs> So we came down into the sewers, poked around, we found Priestess Code and all of the Chase Redeemers who got their lips sewn shut. Um, and the conversation ended with, stop, why are you killing Succubi? She was like, fuck you, I'm going to kill Succubi. <laughs> because Sune, who is the, love of, the goddess of love, compassion and beauty, is apparently just focused on the whole Mon monogamy thing uh which is something that you guys have started a fight about so at the end of the session we had <laughs> oro going <"Caw!" laughs> uh -huh. in order to get the attention of nugget who was perched on a ceiling on a rooftop outside uh idea of perched on the ceiling is kind of a bit of a different uh, upside down just like <laughs> <laughs> um so we're gonna see if uh if nugget hears that kaka and comes swooping down into the sewers um but you guys are in this tiny little room. If you remember, Magnus shut the door behind you. Um, and outside is just lots of sewage. Yes. And not much else. Just a lot of sewage. Oh, yeah. And also a big pit uh, that will is the sewage drains into. Mm -hmm. A mm -hmm. whirlpool of shit. <laughs> that that sounds like that's... 2020 to me. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Where's the lie, though? <laughs> wow! Uh, and we started the well, we, we started this combat essentially last session. So, did I miss anything? Is that pretty much. I'm um, just that I was right all along. <laughs> That's an important <laughs> bit. Listen, we've got. There's no evidence that anyone else in the in the organization is part of this. It's, as far as you're aware at least as far as everyone but neurally is aware <laughs> it's just priestess code and these people who have their lips sewn shut neurally clearly has her own agenda 
<laughs> her own beliefs about what the fuck's going on here. Oh, I'm saying the congregation is part of the organization, is all I'm saying. So it's several cool. people. It's bright. Anyway. Uh, anyway you're Mary, bright. did you just give a D6 bonus to Tom as we're starting a fight? Uh... Oh, Evan. Peter. Oh, Evan, I'm starting strong. So it's been it's, been, it's pretty clear to everyone that the combat is about to start. So we had you guys roll your initiatives last session. Mm -hmm. I've rolled a bunch of shit in GM chat only, so I can't see your initiatives anymore. Could you put them in? Just type them in for me. Just show me what you got. I got twenty three. Seventeen. <laughs> she, did crit. she did crit, by the way. Or as good. So okay. Okay. I imagine a vigilante named Darkwing Gobbo. <laughs> it's Oro Nugget. I love that. That's excellent. <gasps> Darkwing Gobbo. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, Fuel gave a D6 to Nurly. Oh, thanks. I'm going to need it, probably. <laughs> you get a special animation for giving it to a player and not to a DM. If you give a D6 <laughs> to a DM, then you don't get a special animation. <laughs> 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 Is it, do you like swoop it in and put it in like Yeah, a I like pot? put it all around. <laughs> <laughs> if it goes to me, it just like teleports. But if yeah, it goes it's, to a player, it's, like, it's, a, it's, a, it's a love heart with like a swoop and everything. <laughs> all right, let's see how it is. Uh, okay. So as this this combat starts, I'd, oh, one thing I'd like to point out is that uh, in this conversation at the end of the game, uh, we realized that Priestess Code knows about Nurley's wings. Yes. Yeah, which was really which cool. was a which was a highlight. Oh, Bryce uh, gave me one as well. Thank you. I didn't see ooh. it. Scrolled up. You get an extra fancy animation for giving me. It's an aggr aggr aggressive that drag exactly. Um, so we start this session <laughs> with Priestess Code saying a short sentence. It's a short sentence. She says it in a language that is not common. Language Can you check? list your, <laughs> list your languages, please, Charles? Language check. <laughs> I can Elvish and Celestial. Uh, goblin and Giant. Uh, elvish and Common. Well, neurally, you hear the words. Let us meditate in silence in Celestial. As you hear this, we're gonna move, we're gonna move over here now. Priestess Code sheds her robe. As she does so, you reveal underneath that she is wearing scale mail. And there is a tablet attached. She uh, out of nowhere starts to kind of just radiate light out of her eyes. It's like almost every pore in her skin starts to kind of blaze brightly. And from her back arcs two massive sets of radiant wings. I'd like you to take a little little gander at this, <gasps> this image that we have here. A little gasp. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drop the, the source in the chat. That's the source for that piece of artwork. It's fucking gorgeous is what it is. Absolutely gorgeous. You see that behind her, leaning against the wall, is a mace that she picks up and a shield on the other side of the altar. She turns to you. And you're not sure if it's shock or, or something else. Shock or. Shock or. <laughs> but for some reason... It's like everything in the world falls silent. You can't even hear the beating of your own heart. But you oh, do see <laughs> clearly with your eyes five robed individuals bearing their knives and a very pissed off priestess code. So I have the ability to counterspell that? Because obviously she was casting a spell, right? You do not. Okay. Because she was not casting a spell. Oh, okay, okay. 
Well, that's it. I'm going to have to run because I have nothing that doesn't have verbal components. <laughs> Goodbye, y'all. Have fun. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I've put you all on the map, but I've put you on the map layer, not the token layer, which is why none of that was making any sense token-wise. But now you're on the token layer, and I can add you to the turns order. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, drop your stuff, please, folks. Folks. You see what I've done here with the names? Uh, names? In the turn order? I don't see any of the names in the turn order. Oh, bummer. Yeah, we, just, we like... only see our own names. Well, I don't actually see Nurley's name for some reason. I don't know whether it's like a, a setting that's... I, I think I only see my name. Oh, oh, I, I see, see mine yours. and Randall's, but not Oro's. I only that's see my very name. Very weird. <laughs> why? <laughs> why am oh, I, on I... The, oh, maybe it's in the tokens. Maybe it's the tokens. Uh, and at least the name seer. <laughs> Perhaps the tokens themselves have some kind of. Uh, oh my! In my token is my name, so maybe. Well, the tokens are on, on, but I think it's probably something to do with clicking on the tokens. Show nameplate, perhaps. No, wait. Do you have show nameplate enabled? No. Oh uh, wait, no. But hers doesn't seem to have all of her stats and stuff in it, so maybe that's why. It's got all the stats. I can click can on. Oh, I see Oro now. No, there you go. I see Oro. It's if you go on advanced and I tick C. I tick there C. you go. What do you tick C? I tick C. Show nameplate. Here we go. Show nameplate. Oh, well, they've all got names. For some name reason, paint. I can click on Randall's token. Uh, leave my token. And I can click <laughs> mess with it. <laughs> uh, oh God, I why can everyone mess with my stuff? <laughs> I can't mess with anyone's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have it set so like your... Well, represents determined by character settings. Maybe that's a character setting. So my character lets anyone control them. Yeah. <laughs> that's clearly it. Oh, I didn't mean to click that one. Ooh. Show nameplate. You're not supposed to see the bars. <laughs> I'd give too much away. Okay. Oh, we're the best right. in park ever. Hell yeah, don't you? Can you see names now? Yes. Around you. you yeah, recognize. Except, except for the two at the bottom that are like covered by the black. Like, you don't area, recognize but... those guys. Oh, okay. They got names, you just don't know. Okay. <laughs> I asked their names. Oh, wait, <laughs> I also can't see code. Oh, her name. Ye. Oh, yeah, I can't see her. Uh, I didn't put that on her token because I was like, it's pretty obvious who she is. She's the one oh, with I'm wings. Spelling it wrong. <laughs> well, how did you spell it? It's fantasy. It's always spelled weird. I spelled it with a C. Ugh. In this economy. Because that's how you spell code. <laughs> <laughs> In this economy. <laughs> Can't go throwing C's around like that. <laughs> okay. Oh, we haven't got Randall's. Oh, can't see his, his bar. Oh, Why can't bar. I see your bar? It's my personal bar. What the hell, man? It's my bar. I can see everyone you else's numbers, it. but I can't see your numbers. I can see my numbers. I can't see anyone else's numbers. This is very... This is very poo. <laughs> I see. I see red, red secrets though. Secrets? No, that's a that's a door you know is there. Oh. oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Sorry, that you knew that door was there. Uh, yeah, you definitely know the door's there. That's... Yeah, it's definitely one hundred percent there. Um. Ba 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 da. Ba da ba ba da. Okay. Okay, okay, we're ready. The top of the turn order, we have Oro. Oro. Before the silence falls and before Princess Code somehow develops wings and starts burning like a sun, uh, you let off a little caca. Mm -hmm. um, and before the silence fell, you heard a flap in the distance. 
I will remind you that the door behind you is closed. At the start of your turn, you can do whatever the hell you like. Nugget, you assume, is on his way. Mm -hmm. But for now, he's not here. Okay. Uh, what, what are these? What are these other dudes doing? Like, is Magnus got a, something out to try and attack me? Is he? All of the all of the people here have produced daggers. Okay. They're all craftsmen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I uh, uh, I want to kill her, but I don't particularly want to kill everyone else. But if they're going to kill me, then I'm going to kill them first. Uh huh. <laughs> Premeditated. Pre pre <laughs> <laughs> was it premeditated self defense? Self -defense. <laughs> yeah. I got that eventually. And going first gives me the ability to. You've got you've got a you've got a bit of an advantage there. Do whatever, yeah. Um... Did I see her? Did she say something to make the silence happen, or did she? She did, yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't like going first. Going first is too much pressure. Um, <laughs> Take your time. We're not in a rush. Ask uh, for cheese plates. Can't ask for anything. <laughs> a silence. Wait. Randall can still ask for everything, though. And everyone is going to still understand him. <gasps> <gasps> True. Finally, finally. This is when the mime came, became. I, I, like... I say, I say, finally, it's been super useful the entire time. It's like every third episode, it's been super. Handy. <laughs> for those of you who aren't in the know, Randall is in possession of a staff that, for some reason, gives him incredible miming ability. It's just a side effect of its, uh, of its history, of its backstory. <laughs> It's really incredible. I wish I had the ability and we could all mime together at one point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to get my two daggery boys in my house. Two daggery boys out. <laughs> and um, Bill and Bob. <laughs> and what? Bill and Bob. Bill, Bill and Bob. And, Bob. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to go here and okay. stabbo Magnuso. Stabo Magnus. Is that a spell? Poor, it's a spell. Poor Magnus. <laughs> That's what Oro tries to Magnus. say. This is this is the partner of Rasheen Kilfan. Do you remember? I almost want to. I don't know. I, I want to try something, but I don't think it would any. It would happen. Always, would happen if you want to try something, always <laughs> run it by me. Always. Well, they've got they've got things on their mouth, right? They do. Yeah, they've got they've got their lips sewn shut. So I would want to like cut it open. Okay. I know they can't talk yeah. right now, uh -huh. but for for it to be some kind of like a release of, I don't know something. Okay, all right. Okay. Then I would want to do that? that with one dagger. Yeah, can I do it with one dagger? <laughs> then see what see what his reaction is to that, and then if he doesn't <laughs> like it, then stab him. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, no, okay. Oh, no, 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 you can do. You can do. Okay, okay. So that's a very precise cut. <laughs> Yeah. If you want to cut the thread without his face. <laughs> Listen, it's so either that roll or... to attack. Right, you can roll yeah. to attack, okay. Uh, like, just kind of describe to me what you want to do. Like, do you want to try and hold him in place and be like, or do you want to just go, <laughs> Uh, Well, with more precision of a hua <laughs> would, be, <laughs> would be great. Okay. All right, okay. But I want to still so, have I want to still have my two daggers, so I can't really like hold a dagger and like uh, no, you're hold right. a you're right. face. You're right. Okay, okay. Well, in which case you can make a uh, make an attack roll. I will give him a higher AC because mm. you're you're trying something so precise. Mm. But it's possible. Go for it. Twenty four. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> Oro pulls some bullshit. Uh, <laughs> So, do you want to describe what you, how you manage this? Uh, I, I, I jump over there and just go. <laughs> <laughs> I look into his eyes, like, is that better? Are we okay? <laughs> yeah, cool? He seems, he seems uh, abhorred. He seems very offended by what you've done. 
I I I try to sigh, but it doesn't work. And I just, <laughs> and I stab him. <laughs> <laughs> Got to roll your attack to stab him. I really want you to miss the stab, but hit the precise thread <laughs> cut. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so maybe Oro is like reluctant about stabbing mm. him You're like i tried to be your friend like yeah. i hit him like in a place where mm. isn't gonna like pierce any internal organs yeah, exactly. just like yeah. ah. just like clips clips his skin a little bit you know yeah. uh, all right okay uh all right he seems he seems annoyed and kind of like deeply offended that you removed his his lip bindings uh but other than that he is unharmed. And it is now blank character's turn. Someone's turn who you don't know the name of, who's going to come up here and see if Randall doesn't get a little bit stabbed. Oh, but well, Randall hasn't done any attacks yet. With a crit. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what a way to start a combat <laughs> with a crit. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> dogs. Player of Randall. Uh, <laughs> take there a of crit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, playing I'll in play a game in. yesterday and my character was crit four times in a row by the same character. So Ugh. as long as that doesn't happen today, you're gonna be doing okay. Ugh. It's not it's not it's not a, it's not a good start. Uh <laughs> so this person, this gentleman, uh is very young and clean shaved from Everywhere, absolutely everything, including brows. We got we got nothing going on there, facial wise. Uh, and just comes up and just fucking shanks you. You have, <laughs> you're kind of just like you're so perplexed and focused on priestess code, just blooming into a fucking angel person uh, that you don't see him kind of taking the opportunity to come up and just give you a good old stab. You take fourteen points of damage. <laughs> we can all tell ouch. that Doc's yeah. is hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm sorry, Randall's hurt, not Doc's hurt. Sorry, jeez. And at the end of his turn, <laughs> it is now Nurley. So, um, I looked through the sorcerer spell list uh, just to double check, and silence is not on there. <laughs> So I don't think that I would be super familiar with what exactly was going on. Um, so I think uh, that instead of the practical thing to do, which of course is just to like run outside of the zone of it, um, she's just going to kind of like um, in a panic realize that there's not a lot that she can do. And um, similar to code, these like wings are going to sprout out of her back and her eyes are going to glimmer. Is that an action or a bonus? It is an action. Okay. Um, but I am going to. What what weapons do I even have? <laughs> you have a quarter staff. I do have a quarter staff. <laughs> I'm. You gonna... dipped in the sewer. Covered in poop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely cleaned it after that. Absolutely, uh, prestigitation. No bonus like no, no bonus poison down. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine um, with that. <laughs> But I'm just going to hold it in front of me. Unfortunately, I can't take the dodge action because this is an action. But it was kind of like more of a panicky thing than anything else. She definitely mm -hmm. looks very worried. And that's it. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Um, do you want to have a free... I'll give you a free arcana check. Oh, sure. On yeah, I the mean... Source, I the source of this silence. That's kind of what Never I have. Never mind. D6. Do you have a D6? Do you have a D6? <laughs> do you have a D6? Oh. But that's a seven. That's I mean, what else seven. am I going to use it for today? I can't do literally anything else in this whole combat. So, oh, there we go. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> so, uh, when you heard the words, uh, let us meditate in silence, it didn't sound like she was casting a spell. It sounded like she was saying a trigger phrase. So I assume that there's an item or like a glyph somewhere, probably, that is emitting this? Yes. So you okay. assume that there is something in this room that is creating this effect. 
And so then the, there's the like statue thing in the middle there, and then there's like an altar back here. Correct. Yes. Okay. So the 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 notable things in this room, apart from the dagger wielding cultists, um, are the small altar that's tucked away in the corner over there that you can see there's a book open on top of as well as a couple of kind of miscellaneous priesty things a couple <laughs> urns here and there you know some incense that kind of thing um in the center of the room is the uh kind of the plinth and the flat edifice the kind of like uh circle 2d uh kind of just symbol um of sune uh Priestess Code is wielding and now a shield and a mace. Um, and you can see that the mace in itself is kind of seems to have assumed some of her light and is radiating it somewhat. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to how tall is the ceiling? Ten feet. Okay. Just going to lift up off the ground slightly then. Okay. In preparation Again, for my next turn. We're gonna have some some winged on winged action. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get tangled. <laughs> gonna get tangled. <laughs> All right, Magnus over here, having had his lips cut open, uh, is just gonna go the fuck <laughs> and just kind of like deal with his mouth a little bit. Uh, and he's going to. I'm trying to like make my NPC and enemy actions kind of reflect how the individual might feel. Um, and he's going to step back against the door and just kind of hold his mouth for a second. Uh, and he's going to spend his turn doing that. He stepped away, which means you get an opportunity to attack if you want. Um, he stepped away and he's just kind of like in just horror. Uh, and he's just assessing the fact that you've just tried to shank him. Uh, <laughs> and just what's going on here. Um, and then he catches sight of Priestess Code and it's just, just there's, a, there's a lot going on for Magnus right now. Jared, on the other hand, Jared, seeing that you also take flight, is also kind of like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on here? <laughs> just like, I mean, you, you, you maybe assume that Jared has at some point seen that Priestess Code has grown wings or somewhat. Perhaps maybe she's used it as her persuasive skill set. Um, but two... Good God. Uh, and he panic attempts to give you a heck and stab uh, 14 versus AC. That's yeah, okay. that's a, well, I have a 12 AC. Big 12. Okay, okay. Can I tread on Magnus's toes as he's running away as a form of attack? <laughs> I'm going to do that, allow you that for free. Yes. <laughs> You can tread on his toes. <laughs> I want him to. Ah, I want gotcha. him to fall over. Yeah, I want him to not oh, be like okay. pressed so against the door. Basically, if you want him to to trip and fall, then you can have an attack roll. Okay. I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. Just roll a roll. Yeah, a... just roll a normal attack roll. Oh, I could fail. <laughs> since since it wasn't like a a big proper attack, I'm not gonna make it. If you like do a crit. Fail your toes. <laughs> <laughs> you fall over. Uh, but nonetheless, you miss your chance to, to stand on his toes. Or rather, you stand on his toes and he looks confused uh, and continues stepping back and just kind of now is against the wall. Uh, fail forward kind of style. He's now kind of blocking the entire door. Um, we now have uh, a whole, sorry, was it four points of damage? Uh, sinking into Nerity. I would cast shield, but I can't. <laughs> uh, right, okay. It's Priestess Code's turn. Priestess Code now flying. Uh, sets her sights on uh, Jared. She points her arms towards Jared. And you can kind of see that she is willing him to attack. So he gets another attack against you, which hits for six points of damage. And she glides somewhat closer to you guys. 
We then move to individual without a name. <laughs> who makes an attack roll against Randall. And hits. Oh. I'm rolling so well. You know what I did before I came in here? I just rolled a bunch of dice. Just to you know, get cheating. the shit ones out of there. You don't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you don't have to warm up the dice. Two points of damage is what Randall is stabbed with. We now have Conan, who is unable to do anything. So Conan, uh, <laughs> Conan uh, draws a uh, a bottle, a, a small vial, from his waist, and he throws it at Neurally. Um, I have clicked on the wrong window. Do, 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 which hits and does one point of damage, uh, and you are covered in water. You wet. That is it. You covered in water. Am I sure it's water? Uh, it kind of. <laughs> you're you're almost certain from context uh, that it's holy water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I guess. All right. <laughs> you see these? You see these wings? Uh, Randall, he doesn't you're up. <laughs> uh, can I move over the plinth? Does that count as difficult terrain? You can climb onto and over the plinth. It will count as difficult terrain. Okay, I ignore difficult terrain. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. The the um the staff lets me ignore. Uh, yeah, I know it does. Yeah. <laughs> difficult terrain. Cool. Uh, I see your so... difficult terrain. I raise you. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I wanted to. I wanted to start with making sure that it was class as difficult terrain before reminding of the fact that I'm insane. It was. Yeah. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to open up on these two guys next to me. Oh, with... we're doing a little bit of. You don't get to hit Emotionally? me when I move. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly okay. what's happening. Okay. Uh, you don't have to hit them, do you? Nope. I just have to make attacks <laughs> against them. Monks, man. Monks. Okay, make your attacks. Okay, this is one normal attack. That's the mobile feed, actually. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, oh, it's the left hand rolls. Uh, oh, those hit. It's not like a disadvantage or something. Uh, These are both the people that you don't know the names of. Excellent. We'll never know. Um, <laughs> it's better that way. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, uh, which, which the the guy on the left is the one who stabbed me, right? Unnamed left person. Uh, the one them. on the left, yes. The one is okay. the one. Well, um, no, both of them get... stabbed you. Yeah. Oh, the one who stabbed me first is the one directly really? below you. Okay, they get an extra little tap. <laughs> <laughs> so left damage, right damage, left damage. So the guy on the left takes five, and the guy on the right takes eleven. Oh my gosh. A cute guy on okay. the right. And then I'm going to whoop doop all the way over here and come and stand next to Code. So you're going to kind of like just use the walking stick in your attacks. Do you want to describe yeah. it to me? Well, yeah. So I'm going to like um, hit the hit them maybe like with like a bang and then swinging it around to hit the other guy as well. Mm -hmm. And then keeping that motion going, then punch the first guy again, <laughs> and then keeping the spin going, like, hit the stick into the ground and, like, leave myself up, like, bum Love shuffle it. across, slide across the table. Bum shuffle it! <laughs> <laughs> Land on the other side, and then, like, keep moving. That's excellent. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah. The bum shuffle was <laughs> totally <laughs> took me out of hand. <laughs> I was like, whoa, this is hella sick! And he was like, scoop, bum scoop, shuffle. scoop, 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 scoop. <laughs> At first, I was like, "Oh, it's gonna be like a cool, like one of those slide across the hood of a car situation." Yeah, that's what I was going for. But bomb shuffle came to my brain rather. Than <laughs> 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 All right, okay. Uh, so you managed to dish out a supreme amount of damage to these individuals, quite bapping them before flipping yourself over for a good old-fashioned bum shuffle across the, the side of this plinth, uh, ducking under the large kind of edifice in front of you, um, and sliding over to Priestess Code, who is just off of the ground. Anything else for your turn? You gonna mime anything? Uh, no, I don't have anything to mime. I think okay. you mimed being really cool just then. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty cool. I think everyone kind of got the gist of that without the, without the additional miming. All right. 
Oh, it's me. You get this, 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 this feeling deep down inside that Nugget's getting closer. Excellent. Uh, these two anonymous dudes that we don't know also have tied mouths, right? Correct. Everyone in this room, apart from Priestess Code and yourselves, I w- has sewn up lips. I would like to try and open their mouths as well. <laughs> All right, you're getting a high DC, but you can do it. 16. That's a miss. Oh, and about two 16s misses. together. Two misses. <laughs> together. Ooh. Uh, Don't you so- have a D6 too? I do have a D6 too. Oh, Ooh. six. One of these individuals has their, their sewn up lips opened. Uh, whomst would you like to open the lips of? Uh, the one beneath me. Okay, so the one that Randall just <laughs> almost fucking KO'd. Yeah. <laughs> it's a blunt weapon though, so it would be, it could be non-lethal. Or it would be non-lethal. It would be non-lethal. You can choose to do anything that's, yeah. that's not magic and, and not ranged as non-lethal, even with like a sword. Oh, uh, I thought. Okay. You can just like pummel bash them or whatever. Yeah. Or just like stab them in the leg and be like, you, you can't walk now. That it, yeah, you just have to yeah. declare that it's non-lethal. Um, as long as you're the person who does the last bit of damage, you can be the one that you can just say that it's, it's non-lethal and give them yeah. a good old conk. Um, so you definitely 100% slash this guy's sewn up lips open. Uh, what do you want to? What do you want to do? What do you want to do here? <laughs> uh, how do you like? Uh, how do you um, say something without actually saying something? <laughs> what? You mime it. Mime it. Uh, you mime it. <laughs> Just mime it. Just mime it. Uh. I cut off the mouth and then I go, we're the good ones. We're good. Good ones. Us. Don't fight. I'll fight you if you can settle down. <laughs> settle settle down. down. We're good. Settle you down. don't want to die. Eh? I'm done that. We're good. <laughs> okay. Okay. He seems, uh, he seems also just like, horribly offended and turns to Magnus. Uh, who do, they're just like, what the fuck do we do <laughs> to each other? Um, but you can also see that he's kind of like halt trying to st- st- like stand defensively somewhat so that he can continue to engage you if necessary. Um, oh, shit. That's where you get married, everyone. Just so you can get fancy drinks to live Is that like you. a camel straw oh with little God. ears? Is that? It's a uh, llama, it's a giraffe. Right? Oh, it's a damn giraffe. It. I love it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's precious. That's damn. very cool. Damn it. And now I have a cool drink. <laughs> uh, okay. I'd like Anything to. Else wants to I'd do? like to use my nimble escape and disengage. Okay. As well. Okay. Let's go back. So here. you've got your. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Well, this gentleman, having seen you accost the person next to him, as I'm disengaging, uh, I'm like, "We're cool, bro." <laughs> I'm trying to. Ma- <laughs> we're cool. With daggers in my hands. We're cool, bro. <laughs> what? Seeing you, I mean, he's kind of just like, well, this part of the room is clearly covered <laughs> by these two people who are fucked up and are doing nothing. So it turns to defend Priestess Code, uh, attacking Randall. 14 against AC? Uh, that might not be a hit because, uh, no, it's not. So I got 15 armor and then I got bonus two anyway because I did attack. Oh, fancy. Okay, well, he comes at you and he just gives you a good old slice in. And you nimbly avoid it with the, with the help of your uh, walking stick. Uh, and we roll around to Neurally. Okay. <clears throat> so I am going to... I don't know if it's going to work. We'll see what happens. I have a, I have a 30-foot flying speed right now. Um, so if I go here's 10 feet and here is another 10. So I'm going to kind of like move over to the corner, go like in the air and kind of like put my feet against the wall 
-hmm. and do like a push off fly. And I'm going to just try to like tackle the thing in the middle and knock it over or like right. break the stone. Okay. Okay. So you want to try and jump into this, this kind of sculpture slash just yeah. symbol in the, in the middle and try and just break it with the force of your body. Yeah, actually, I guess I don't really need to go that far away. And in fact, it would be better for me to be close. I'm just going to stay there and like push off and do it. Okay. Um, so when you do so, could you make a, a, a attack? An attack? You can use your quarter staff if you prefer to use it during flight. But if you want to narratively use the quarter staff, but really kind of just have it be you throwing yourself at this, that's totally fine with me. I'm um, just seeing if I have... I'm thinking of a spell that would do something. No, so yeah, we'll just do. Oh, good. A seven. Yay. <laughs> Can I give you one of my lucky feet rolls? <laughs> <laughs> if I see you doing it? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious what I'm doing. I don't know. Can you do that with lucky? You can't transfer lucky at it. Okay. Can we you pretend? Can we someone's can do attacking it? you. Uh oh. If you'd like to roll damage, Okay, I like. I love the idea that I just like crash against it. And just, like, <laughs> well, I mean, you're gonna do damage because you're three. jumping in the, into this thing. Okay, because right. <laughs> it's a strength weapon, and I rolled a four. So it's minus <laughs> one. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, so you majestically, already <laughs> somewhat soaring, kind of back up against the wall and use the momentum of forcing yourself away from it to collide with the structure in the center of the room in the hopes to kind of break it down. As you do so and you slam into it with your quarterstaff, uh, you can see that it does seem to chip. It seems to kind of break apart somewhat. As you do that, you can see that there is some kind of magical form that has enveloped the edifice, uh, like a small shimmer of light. And the part of the edifice that has broken off uh, has kind of, you are right there? <laughs> I just realized I also do radiant damage. <laughs> Extra radiant damage to one target when you deal damage to it within attack the X equals your spell level. So it's also six more radiant damage. Oh so my it's goodness. nine damage. I was like, there's a reason why I did this. I'm sure that there was a reason why I did this. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, just so kidding. <laughs> considerably more damage compared to the three that three you times. did before. Yeah. As you do so, so you can kind of collide with it and you know parts of the radiant form that you are right now kind of clash with the magic kind of uh kind of shimmer that this structure has uh and you can see that parts of it fall off and crumble but others remain in place and though the silence remains you're fairly confident that this is some way that you could break that silence you also uh take an attack of opportunity Uh, which misses. So as you kind of push yourself off, Jared tries to swipe at you with a dagger, but is unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, he misses. <laughs> He's unsuccessful with his attack. Did I technically uh, even leave his square of threat, though, if I just went, like, five foot here and, f like, to here? Oh, you're or... just you're just straight up going to crash into it? I kind of had the idea yeah. that you were going to try and swoop past it and, like, use the momentum. Oh, the no, no, no. I wanted to, like... Like, that's why I was like, actually, I'm not even going to move. I'm just going to push off from right here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I wanted to like tackle it and try to take the whole thing like and push it yeah, over yeah. with me. Yeah. So that's not going to happen unless you, you've got a lot more weight behind you because it's, yeah, that's it's fine. kind of part of the plinth beneath it as well. It's not kind of just like this flimsy facade okay. sort of thing. So, um, I mean, this is kind of the same thing that happens when like that was my goal by cracking yeah. it with the staff. Yeah, and exactly. It just kind of like shatters or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shatters, you definitely like, you cracks. definitely land some some hits and it and it cracks. You're definitely still within his zone of uh his area of his area of whatever. Range. Threat range, that's the one. Yeah. And uh, it does not it does not land any strikes upon you because he doesn't get a chance to. Okay. Uh then and that's the end of Nuri's turn. Have you got anything else? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I'm just going to move back there. Okie dokie. Magnus is up. Magnus is up against the wall as he's currently up against the door. Uh, he is still kind of reeling from the fact that you've cut his lips open and he just doesn't really seem to know what to do. Um, and that kind of takes a good chunk of his turn, uh, but he then returns to brandishing his knife uh, and steps forward, confused and reluctant, apparently, to attack Oro, but that appears to be his intent. Uh, his knife is 
in his hand and he, he looks like I'm going to do it. <laughs> uh, but on this turn, he does not. Jared, however, Jared's going to give Neroli a good old stabbing. Stab that Neroli. Probably. It's a 16 against AC. Oh, yeah. Seven points of damage. Oof. Jared is sick and tired of your shenanigans. <coughs> Jared, having <laughs> seen you grow wings and start clashing against and defacing <laughs> his goddess, finally lands another slash against you, kind of tearing into your, uh, or tearing into your skin against the kind of silken robe that you're wearing, uh, doing seven points of damage. Blood seeps from your wound against the uh, inside of your clothing, which immediately just drips off. Just, yeah, just rolls off the bottom <laughs> because the dress can't get dirty. <laughs> Priestess Code. However, Priestess Code is going to bring her mace and hit with the best of her ability. I'm going to use my d6. Oh, shit. Uh, does a 17 hit? I think 17 is my AC. So yes. Okay. Uh, so Priestess Code, still somewhat of flight, sees you do your awesome flips and shit and basically beat the tits off of the, the rest of the, the like part of her congregation. And she turns mid-flight, shield in one hand, mace in the other, and just bats you across the face <laughs> with her mace. <laughs> the back of her just bap. Uh, and as she does so, you feel that not only is she you know, uh, she's kind of got the full weight of this mace behind her as she's, as she's hitting at you. Um, she, you can feel that some of it burns. It burns in a way that a bludgeoning mace would not burn. Uh, and it kind of sears oh, your no. skin as it does so. Do I have to hurt? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. You want to say that when it's a fucking bludgeoning mace? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have the hurt? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that is her turn. She's going to use that to give you a big old heck and smack um, for 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. That's okay. half of my current health. Oh, God. We've also got another individual who is just, just baffled and confused at the situation that they're in because they've had their lips cut, op cut open, uh, this kind of religious covenant that they've entered to never utter another word, to never speak until they are pure enough for Sune has been broken and they're just baffled. They don't know what to do. And they stand there in confusion for a turn. <laughs> confusion? Conan, having thrown holy water at Neroli and it did absolute <laughs> fuck all uh, also kind of turns <laughs> to priestess code like what do I do? <laughs> obviously with no noise uh, and instead attempts to throw the only weapon that he's got. This is what happens when your cultists are just fucking normal people. <laughs> they do stupid shit like throw their only weapon. Uh, we got a <laughs> 12 against AC. That'd be for me? Yep. That's my AC, because uh -huh. I can't shield anything. Oh, it does a whole a grand total of one point of damage as he launches this dagger across the room and it kind of skirts against the inside of your leg and just cuts another wound in you. More blood seeps into your clothing and drips off uh, before we see Randall's turn. That's to me. Uh, That's to you. I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna hit back at uh, Priestess Code, but okay, I'm okay. also gonna spend a key point so I can get an extra an arm strike. Uh huh. Which is two of them, and then two of them. Oh my oh. Okay. Pretty okay. Cow. So we got Pretty three cow. of those hits. Would you like to roll on the crit channel the table? Yes. Is that a D hundred? Yes. Let's get a D thirty one. I forgot 41. that we were using that for this one. Well, look at you got a what what? Forty one. 
Canuck, 41 Canuck trip. tipped fifteen pound and thirty three pence, and the the alert didn't come up. But thank you very much. And they put Ooh. a thing, a a D and D goblin tribal society strongest ruling the rest. They hateful daylight skin color range from yellow through dull orange or brick red, except Oro. <laughs> they only reached the age of fifty or so. Sent support for this short but full life. Live well, Oro. Aww. <laughs> Aww, <laughs> Aww thanks, Canuck. That's very kind that's of very you. Very sweet. <laughs> 41 is traumatic injury ignore damage resistances and one extra damage die Ooh. so i roll is it there's the, gonna be the d20 damage for that the d20 damage the roll 20 the, damage uh you'll roll the roll 20 damage and then you'll whatever your uh walking staff is it looks one like d8. it's a d8 you roll an additional d8 Boop, another three, so 13 okay. plus five, 18. Okay, okay. this is against Priestess seven. Code. Yep, plus seven. Wow, you know I, you just on. keep, keep sure. rolling your damage and you tell me what the sum seven. is. Uh, 13, <laughs> was it 13 plus seven? Is that 20? Plus no. five plus, plus seven? Nine. 13 yes. plus five plus seven? Yeah, so 25. So 20, 25. I should have the okay, countdown that's... music on like a keybind when math. <laughs> <laughs> I have the um, I have the maths effect with all the like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the equations. <laughs> that was so good. Okay, so that's all for Priestess Code. Yep. Okay. Oh, is there any way you want to flavor your attack? Uh, just whipping and whapping and whacking. <laughs> Whipping, whapping, and whacking. And yeah, we've had the bum shuffle. Now we've got the whipping and whacking. Uh, okay. Anything else for your turn? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna take you know, another. We. Uh, no, I'm not gonna take a step away from him. No, I'm gonna stay around. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna have any attack uh, opportunity against me right now. Not with 11 <laughs> hit points. <Ooh. laughs> Oro. Yeah. As you. End your turn. Mm -hmm. We're, you're going to do your turn, but as you end your turn, mm -hmm. you hear a slam against the door. Okay. Your we hear it against nugget, the door. Nugget has arrived. <laughs> oh, you sorry. You feel a, a slam. <laughs> uh, did the door open out or in? It went open in, didn't it? In, yeah. Okay. And he's just on the on the door. There's no like movement on the door. Nugget doesn't understand the concept of doors. Is what I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Damn it! You might have to teach him one more thing before I left. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I haven't heard that yet. You felt the vibrations of. I mean, we had to discuss <laughs> sound going through yeah. solid walls and stuff the other the last week. We ain't doing it again, <laughs> but there is a, a a tangible vibration through the floor that you could localize to the doorway. Okay. Then I'd want to get to that doorway. Okay. By being... Magnus. <laughs> By getting through Magnus. <laughs> Listen, Magnus, I tried, mate, but... It's <laughs> 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 um... I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, like kill him, but I want to get him out of the way so I can go open the door. <laughs> you could do a shove attack. Yeah. Okay. How? How? What do? What do I have to roll for a shove attack? Uh, so that would be athletics. I put. I was on the document that I linked you earlier. What was it? Uh, maybe I don't want to do a shove attack if it requires any kind of strength. Oh no, okay. Acrobatics. If you, yeah, you succeed with your athletics checks wins against athletics or acrobatics. So it's athletics to push, it's acrobatics or athletics to defend. Oh. Okay, well I don't have the athletics but I have the acrobatics. So could I jump over <laughs> him instead of, <laughs> instead of hitting him? Can I do you some could, kind you of... Could get there's a gap between them that you could use to get between them. Then I'd want to do that. Do a little. Yeah, you could, I mean, you're also very little. I'm pretty sure with your stature, you can get, you can stand in the same. 
is as to friendlies only, isn't it? Standing in the same tile. But you can get past these guys. Okay. It will get an attack of opportunity if you don't use disengage then. Uh well, I would like to disengage. Just just so I'm just use your, your cheeky little bonus action thing. Yeah, bonus action. Yeah. Can then then can I still get to the door? Yes. Okay. Can I also open the door? Yeah. I would like you to open reaction. the door. <laughs> you open the door and where you're standing, you hear the scratching and the clawing and the banging on the door outside and you can pull open the door and as you do so, sweet, sweet vibrations of... <laughs> as you do, uh, you realize that where you're currently standing is not in the zone of silence. Mm. On the other side of the door, is a very confused looking janitor. No, I'm kidding. It's, no, it's, <laughs> 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 it's just, just some old guy like, this Stop was a mop you. clock. Okay, like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Nugget is here. Let's bring in Nugget. Hey. And no, Nugget, is Nugget gonna, is Nugget going to be able to navigate a zone of silence? That's a good question because Nugget relies mostly on sound, but not entirely on sound. But mostly. We need Nathan in here. Nath! <laughs> Why are you never in here? <laughs> Give us animal facts. You're never around when I need you. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, whilst I'm in this space of I can talk to Nugget, uh -huh. I want to tell Nugget that we're trying to kill the, the random big wings lady. And it looks like Neuralee's trying to knock over that statue over there. I don't fucking know why, but there seems to be a point of contention. Maybe you could do that. <laughs> that seems to be a point of contention. I think that's an accurate assessment. Yeah. I don't know why okay. this bitch is hitting a statue, but whatever. It must be important. I trust her. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, right, so that's the end of your turn. It's the end of Nugget's turn as well. Um, and we now move to Nameless Cultist, who is trying to get one over on Randall and misses horribly. I just think of uh, that moment in the hollow when she's like, You are nameless. That's him. You're nameless. <laughs> oh, no, what I'm talking about. Okay, just Poor kidding. <laughs> just yeah, don't get it. Apologies. Uh, using references in this group is just a, it's just a hit and miss. <laughs> yeah, mostly everyone miss. knows it all, but we're not. Oh, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> mostly miss. <laughs> Movies? Katie's not going to get it. Nerd shit? 50-50. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> okay, nobody's up. I'm going to do another one. Back up against the wall, push off. Oof. Oof. Oh, I clicked it. Oof. Nothing's happening. Oh, because I clicked it, it in my inventory. Oh. Oop, there we go. Oh, one point better. Sweet. Awesome. Cool. Hey. Um, so 10 total damage. Luckily, the armor, the armor class of it. <laughs> stationary of a stationary object. stone statue, <laughs> yes. Okay, plus your radiant damage? Is 10 total. Okay, 10 total. As you kind of collide with it this time and you feel like the divine energy inside of you clashing against the magic of this uh, of this stationary <laughs> statue, um, you can see that a huge chunk of it falls into the plinth or onto the plinth below and then cracks. As it does so, you can see that this kind of, kind of outline of it as if it was still in one piece is there, but shimmering. Looks like it's about to break. You don't get offhand attacks when you just have a single weapon, even if it's like a staff that you could like, like hit with the other side. Do you? That's like a that's like a me. That's like a martial class sort of thing, right? That's like a monk thing. Well, I'm thinking of like, like Ranger has two weapons, gets to do main hand attack, offhand attack. But I have just one, so even though it's uh -huh. like a stick, I don't think it works that way. I don't think so. Okay. Still can't hear anything. Correct. Okay. Can That's you see? Can can Nerly see me from where we are? Uh, is there a is there a view? Uh, yeah. Then maybe Nerly sees me talking to someone, like actually like, explaining. <laughs> yeah. Right. Opening a door and well, what's, explaining. What's Nerly's passive perception? 
<laughs> mm. Oh, 15. Then yes. But can I hear it though? Because no, like... You cannot hear it. Okay. But, but, but I think what Jenny's point is that maybe at... Mid- you see me open a door and talking to someone normally instead you, you of like she's, miming she's, like yeah. I've been trying to. Just trying to think of like... I think she'd notice that, but a combination of being focused and being pretty near death, meaning if I move away from where I'm at, it's entirely possible that that will be the end of me anyway. So um, I'll kind of like take notice of that and like lock it away. Store it in the memory banks. Yeah, for such a time at which I might be able to do something. So I'll do the same thing where I kind of like bash forward at it, hit it, and then kind of like move back. Okay. Uh... So that's your that's your turn. Yep. Okie dokie. We got Jared. Jared does not like Neroli. Jared misses. <laughs> Another <laughs> swooping attack with the blade. Tries his hatred. darndest to not just fill your dress with blood. It completely fails. Uh, it's frustrating for him because you're completely ignoring him uh, as he's just flailing and trying to stab at you. I like to think that also. Yeah, he's like he's stabbing and he's like seeing the blade go in but then the dress goes in with it and when he pulls it out there's no blood and he's like what is happening yeah invincible like fucking weird (laughs) it's a very weird image i've got in my mind uh in in any case he feels like he's doing some work even if it's just to get rid of the interloper uh magnus now turns watching you dance past him and sees giant fucking bat and just goes, oh, fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> Scampers backwards. Magnus has done sweet fuck all uh, trying as to he say. slams against the plinth uh, and just seeps to the floor in horror. Uh, I mean, that's what we want, isn't it? We don't really want him to do anything. Mm-hmm. It's great news. Yeah. yeah. Excellent news. Love mm-hmm. Magnus. A dude. Magnus is the best. A bro. Yeah. Love Magnus. Protect what, Magnus. What a great guy. Uh, Priestess Code, however. Bitch. Massive. Not best for <laughs> No, literally the worst. <laughs> massive bitch. bitch. She, having just whapped you around the head with her mace, uses the momentum of that to just carry herself around in a, in a kind of like a pirouette and then dashes across the room at Nurily. She catches you mid-flight as you return uh, to the wall once again. Um, she moved away from me. She does. She gets a you get an attack of opportunity. I would like to bash. You <laughs> I would like to bash. Ooh, big bash. I would like to bash. Big I bash. bash. I bash. Big bash. Big bash. Big bash. Bob. Good bash. bash <laughs> Bob. You can hear Bob. that for some reason, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only word that works. <laughs> Bob. Uh and she, she kind of just kind of pirouettes, glides towards you and goes to strike you with her maze once again. And she does so, she hits for a grand total. I can tell you right now, I'm probably unconscious already. <laughs> uh, if it's more than one. <laughs> I rolled very, oh, still rolled okay. Nine points of damage. And she I'm casts herself across the room and just smacks at you, hitting you with the mace. Uh, you're down. Yep. We're down. But not out. But not out. Uh, she ends her turn there and she sees your wings are still glowing and she kind of just casts her mace down at you. Uh, and she looks around to the rest of the room and just kind of a, like a triumphant like, and what? Uh Conan over here has no weapon because he threw his dagger. Turns around like I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking fist fight this this monk. Gonna fist fight this guy, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) This dude seems like a good guy to fist fight. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But he goes to grapple you. So we're gonna have a a little bit of a athletics off. Grapple me, bro. (laughs) <laughs> Bruh. We got a fourteen. Ooh, Can 17. I reverse the grapple and grapple him? 
counter grapple. <laughs> he just he just he just goes to grab you with one arm and just go. <laughs> 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 Completely cast it aside. Easy peasy. We now go to Magnus. Not Magnus. Unnamed person below Magnus, whose Magnus, <laughs> who Magnus's name is over. Uh, yeah. Who is Magnus also... Too. Both the Magnus. <laughs> both him and Magnus are the people who have had their, their sewn up lips removed from them. Um, and they now see the door open to Huge Bat and both of them kind of brick it. Uh, <laughs> But this guy is brave. Brave man. Too brave. Seven against DC. That's a big old miss. He looks reluctant and comes up to you like, I'll get you. <laughs> just kind of just, just, just gives a vague stab in your direction to which you just kind of go. <laughs> uh, easily evaded. But Randall... Well, this guy is rude by day. <laughs> <laughs> by standing exactly where I wanted to go. Okay, well, they're going to get themselves whacked, Jared. Not Jared. <laughs> Not Jared, the other. Um, Conan. Conan's going to get themselves whacked. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god! Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! We're dealing I'm out whacking. the crits today. I dealing out the whack. crits. You want to roll a table? Uh, yeah. Roll the table. Are we are we dealing sell out to one person? Oh yeah, just uh, just just the guy above me. Okay. Eighty. Ooh. High is good, right? What do we got? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't, is, she look, is she looking? I don't know. She's oh. also muted. Uh, my bad. I was like reading something and <laughs> saw that he crit, and I was like, awesome, and didn't like. <laughs> <laughs> Good Perplexed good. reaction. Take. Target incapacitated for one round provokes provokes attacks of opportunity and double damage. That's a lot. R- double crit. Yeah. As, and you damage. rolled really high on the crit table. I, the yeah, higher you yeah. rolled, the better it is. Mm, yeah. Cool. One Ooh. day I'll crit against you. Ooh. One day. Ooh. 15, 30. Okay. Ooh. Non-lethal. Just jelly. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you, do you want it to be non-lethal? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. Uh... So, wait, wh- how, where did you get a 30 from? It's, it's a doubled, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, that's 15. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. 15 Sorry, doubled. I thought you were also including your um, your other attacks. Uh, yep, so, this is... Them yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, describe to me how you knocked this person unconscious. Conan. Um, so, it's the, uh, kind of the, just like... The elderly gentleman. <laughs> so that's like, that's why it's such a like such a powerful attack because it's slightly fragile. Um, he he tried to grab me, right? Like, <laughs> that seems like a proportionate response. He tried, he tried to, to hold grab me you in place. And old people smell funny. <laughs> yeah, like, you know. I didn't want to catch the old, you know. Like, <laughs> and you might not be able to hear, but you can smell. Yeah. <laughs> So like as he jumps, <laughs> jumps towards me, trying to like, or, like tries to grab me, like push him aside, and then get the like the end of the quarter staff and just be like dunk into like his chest oh. to like wind him and like knock him backwards. Okay, okay, okay. And he falls on the floor like a turtle. Okay. Remind you that this this gentleman is like Non-lethal. ninety years old. <laughs> well, that's he what die. he gets. <laughs> yeah. He cannot die. It was non-lethal damage. <laughs> All right, the non-lethal damage that you do to him does not kill him, but the fall. No, uh, <laughs> he but does fall. A heart attack. We're not cops. Fall. We don't push old people over and let them die. Oh, oh. Blah, 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 blah. sorry. Continue. Uh, on the ground. Cold, out, down, gone. 
<laughs> and then, no, not gone. Just dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Um, Dog's like, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, well, then my other two attacks will be swiveled to the person to my right. <laughs> I like you pick and choose who where your attacks go. You're supposed to like declare who they're at. <laughs> All right, fine. I, my other two attacks don't do anything. Oh, I think you died. <laughs> you can say like so. You can you can start from the top, and you can be like, okay, this first attack, I want to see if it hits. Does it does it knock them out? So I'll tell you what, well let's rewind this a little bit. Okay, roll the damage for the first attack. Okay, that wouldn't that wouldn't take him out. Uh, unless you wanted to use your inspiration, we could. No. Okay. In which case, all your attacks are on this old man. <laughs> you right. just brazenly beat the ever living shit out of him. Non lethally. <laughs> non lethally beat the ever living shit out of him. Uh, I say that only because I, with the inspiration, I would have I would have said that your first attack is somebody else, which it would have knocked out. And then that would have been the redistribution of the of the damage, uh, but that's not how the, that's not how the cookie crumbled. So we're swinging around to Nugget now, Nugget and Oro. Yeah. Nugget, here, Kaka. Uh, wait. So is it my turn now? It is still, your combined it's turn. Still yeah. my turn. Okay, and then Nugget can go after me, and then if, if that's on. what you like, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. Stab this dude in front of me because he's yep. trying to stab me. Yeah. So fuck this dude. Don't care. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, critical failed on one. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we got a seven and. Oh, wait. The last one's a, a critical fail. Uh, yeah. So this is a regular stab. Non-lethal stab, please. <laughs> it's gonna be non That's what I was In looking the thigh. for. That's what I was looking for. Are uh, we doing crit fails as well? We are doing no. crit fails as well. Yeah, <laughs> crit fail and non-lethal thing make it lethal. Actually, wait, no, I have a, I have the lucky feet. I can re-roll it. You do, yes. I'm gonna use my lucky feet because I always forget that I have the lucky feet. Ooh. Lucky is great. Oh god, I thought I was gonna crit fail again. I was like, please. <laughs> you know, I saw the seven for damage and I was like, damn, I get wait, that's not that's not red. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's fortunate because I mean the first one knocks him out. Knock the knocks. Knocks him out. <laughs> you can kind of just sh shank him in the leg and push him over. And he Excellent. falls. Excellent. All, all all completely shaven head of his to the ground. Uh and just just seems to just bleed on the floor. Uh, anything you want to do with your, your bit of the turn? Um, I want to move uh, into the room, and I want to beckon Nugget to fly into the statue. Okay, so you're just gonna like shank this guy in the leg, push him over, stand mm. over his body, look at Nugget, and go that. Mm. And then go to go stab this other guy. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's Magnus. Little old, little old Magnus. Bink. Yeah, big old X on you when you've been knocked unconscious. <laughs> Bink. <laughs> so many bangs. I saw the like mischievous look in your face and I was like, what is he about to do? Like, I get Oh, I see. Uh, uh, okay. So to now be we fair, I don't get an X because I wasn't non lethally put out. Yeah, I right. get like a skull yeah. or something. Yep. Okay. Okay. Fully lethal. Dead. 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 <laughs> uh, should I find all the other skulls? Why are there uh, so many different skulls? Dead. Grenade. Oh, well, they just get smaller and even harder to see. What's the point? Angel outfit. <laughs> Can't even oh, wait, we'll just do that. Just just have broken an heart. That no, would be I, I didn't even select the other ones. I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm putting on the angel one for you because you're an angel and you got the wings. Oh. Uh, okay. Nugget's going to swoop on in. Okay. Swoop. Swoop. <laughs> swoop. <laughs> the shortest uh, swoop. <laughs> swoop. Swoop. Bonk. And collide 
Would you want to roll an attack? Uh, swoop, swoop it. Shall I just do a bite, a bite thingy, magic, or what? Yep, do a bite. 16. Roll your damage. Thanks. Okay. And with the final attack chomp, chomp. from Nugget, chomp, chomp. surprising everybody in the room, Including your party members, because apart from maybe Nerdy, who's unconscious. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Not on the floor, at least, you know, dealing well, with her, in, in, her, her internal injuries. Uh, the blood pooling in her dress, but not quite sitting anywhere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this dress is like the best thing ever, solely for all the weird shit that it causes in this moment. Uh, swoops into the room. Does this awesome like side turn pirouette around Magnus, who is kind of just like on the floor anyway, uh, and just slams into the uh, edifice, which b debris flies everywhere, including covering Priestess Code, who looks up once again, renewed anger, uh, and it is gone. As it does so, you hear the debris clatter against the stone floor. Oh. Sound has returned to you, and now you can hear the uh, noise of the old man that you're not oh just... <laughs> <laughs> And the squelch of the sewer water outside, <laughs> and the soft sobs of Neurally on the ground. Uh, hey, I'm not sobbing. I'm just breathing right. really heavily. <laughs> just bleeding very. It's a little. Nicely. It's a little gurgly. <laughs> <laughs> Do that a little bit closer to the mic so we can probably we can really get the effect. <laughs> it's really quiet and then suddenly super loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Nugget has broken the silence that was before new. Uh, and once again, you can communicate and cast spells. Uh, as the end of Nugget's turn. Mm hmm. And we swing around to nameless cultist number two, who makes an attack against no an attack to grapple. Uh, and we're getting a oh. athletics versus athletics check. Everybody be trying to grapple. <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> Thirteen against sixteen. Consent is important. No grapple in here. Grapple. No grapple in here. Neurally. Please roll a death, death saving save. throw. More, more death saving throws in this game than in me. <laughs> than in what? Are you saying that? My <laughs> whole <laughs> life. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, she knew about you, okay? That's what oh, yeah, no, spell. no, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not bad about it. I'm just saying. Okay. Giblet. Hey. I think it's a wish with the raid. Hey, Kata. Who in? We've had a good stream. We're in the middle of a big old battle right now. A big old battle. Mm. Not lethal battle. Hi guys. Not lethal battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says you. <laughs> <laughs> Depends. Look at look at Aro's health points right now. Can you see them? Uh, <laughs> I haven't been hit at all yet. I believe they look like they're full. Yeah. It's because she spent all of her time freeing innocent people of their weird lip bondage. <laughs> I freed uh, them from their consciousness. <laughs> You knocked out an old man. <laughs> he came with me. Yeah, he, he did. He did. Me. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> if he'd stayed in the corner, he'd been fine. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Jared is now lording it over the unconscious Neurally. Uh and because we've got flying bat and flying winged cleric in the air here. Uh, he's not really sure how he can contribute to this fight. Uh, so he's he, not gonna. He makes he's gonna back tea. away. <laughs> because this seems a little bit over his prey grade. Uh, and gets an attack of opportunity from Nugget. <laughs> he goes to the bathroom, gets himself a cup of tea. <laughs> oh, I crit fails. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I, I don't think I don't think we're gonna do crit fails for attacks of opportunity. I think that's a that's a, that's a weird thing in context yeah. um but jared's gonna come over here step over the, the corpse of his friend me. his you... prey grade his prey grade <laughs> <laughs> good one adam good one that's good 
Because he's in a uh, cult. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna try and grapple you. Oh my god. All the boys be trying to grapple me. Oh. <laughs> oh. My quarter stuff brings all the boys to you. <laughs> They're like, I'm gonna uh, grapple you. <laughs> oh, you've been grappled. Finally. It's and they're like, three of them. I'm grappling you. See, I fixed it for you. There you go. Now rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have it. I couldn't have the rhyme not work. I had to fix it. <laughs> You've been grappled. Okay. Magnus is going to make like a smart Magnus and run. Smart Magnus. As he goes, I go, go home, Magnus. <laughs> <laughs> go back to Rasheen, Magnus. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Magnus. And you hear a sploosh as he <laughs> jumps into the sewer water. And now he's going to die of sepsis. Oh. So, you know what? <laughs> he's a real he's winner. Full he's full health. He didn't get stabbed at all. He's fine. Uh, <laughs> but he's out there. He's gone. Uh, good job, Magnus. Smart move. Uh, Priestess Code, however, she's got some, she's got some, some stuff to deal out. Uh, is it leaflets? <laughs> please, please consider joining us. Uh, and is going to cast. Counterspell was the one thing I could have done this whole time. <laughs> the one thing that's not verbal. Yeah, I look. I trust me. I looked at all of the like verbal and somatic and material components, all the different spells, and I was like, "Man, I'm going to use this final spell. Priestess Code's going to be fucking useless. <laughs> she can't do shit." <laughs> okay, right. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, that's not really worth it. I'm not going to do that. Uh... Oh, I'm going to do this though. Does it grapple me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was definitely expecting like the coup de gras against me because clearly she wants me to die. So I was like, No, oh. she's going to just do what the characters would do. <laughs> Listen, I'm creating a narrative here. Uh, <laughs> who she reaches, she get up, she drops from her one hand. Uh, or loosens the grip on her shield and drops it to the ground and brings forward her hand and places it on the face of Nugget. And as she does so... Bite. Nugget with bite! Nugget wouldn't allow that! Nugget's got a massive <laughs> face! He wouldn't allow that! He would just be like, yes, lady, who's <laughs> killing everyone! <laughs> Listen, she's not going for a stroke, right? She's casting a spell on him and it's just that she's casting it with touch. <laughs> Uh, and that's not even necessary okay she puts her hand as if to touch his face but doesn't touch his face is that better no <laughs> <laughs> i'd like you or nugget rather to make a charisma saving throw uh oh nugget oh nugget it's not oh. good does her oh, lucky no. feet work for nugget no unfortunately not nugget disappears with a noise nugget is removed from no. this plane of existence oh banish has been favorite spell deleted <laughs> oh. you can solve all your problems with banish <laughs> i think she just did solve her problem <laughs> she solved one problem uh We got Conan, okay. who's unconscious. I don't know why he's still in the turn order. We got this guy who's unconscious. Let's remove him from the turn order. And it's Randall's turn. Okay. Is it, is it Jared that finally grappled me? Yes. I can still attack Jared, right? Yes. I'm going to whack the shit out of him then. Whack him. Whack him good. Why are you hurting people. Nuggets? We said he was immune to everything. He didn't take any damage. It's true. He's also yeah. native to this plane, right? So he's going to come back. He's not, yeah. gone, for <laughs> <laughs> he's not gone forever. Ooh, he's gone for, for just like a minute. To a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, to... it's a concentration spell, though, isn't it? Um, it is a concentration spell. I'm going to go grab another beer. Right be right back. Go, go, go. We can roll her <laughs> death save throw for her. <laughs> uh, 
I got 50 against Jared. Uh, those are all but one hits. So <laughs> Katie just rolls a death save throw. <laughs> what was the last death save throw? It was like 13. It was a 13. It was a save. Yeah. That's one fail. Uh, okay, so three of those hit. Okay, well, I, you, you get but... now deal out your deal out your rolls from top to bottom. You got to start with the top. Well, last time I was going to, and then you got all excited about the crit. Oh, I apologize. I'm sorry that I distracted you from the rules. <laughs> uh, start with the top one. Okay, against Jared, four. And then the okay. next one against Jared, five, nine. Okay. And then that doesn't he's, hit. He's he's all right. All right, and then this one. Okay. You take out Jared. Uh, it was all non-lethal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no okay. Lethal. Okay. I was going to say, after the amount of damage that Jared's done to Neurally with all the shanking, are you sure that you want it to be non-lethal? <laughs> Which one was right. that? Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. Jared is uh, Kent Yellowfine's hubby. Oh. Uh, Jared is unconscious. And I'm not grappled, right? And you're no longer grappled. Yeah, screw you, trying to break free of grapples. I just beat the shit out of the person. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this unnamed person will see what happens when you grapple me and they won't try and grapple me. Anything else you want to do with your turn? No, I use my bonus to do that. Okie dokie. Nugget is having a nice vacation. Oro, you've just seen Priestess Code kind of reach out and in some form remove Nugget from this plane. Oro doesn't know that it's Banish. No. Uh, you know those those Dragon Slayer arrow thingies? Do I know mm. anything more about them other than they're just Dragon Slayer arrows? Would I know? So you know the story behind them? Because mm -hmm. we did the lore check. Uh, you know that they are absolutely magical. Um, but as far as you're aware, they just do extra... They're, they're extra keen for dragons. And would it be, it's my bonus attack to get my bow out, right? Sure, you could use a bonus to, to change weapons if you'd like, yeah. Okay, I want to I wanna do that. Okay. I want to get my bow out and try and fire an arrow at her. Okie doke. Bonus done. Oh. What's with the crits today? Oh my I got two goodness. critical fails, okay? <laughs> this is not uh, yeah. one of me. <laughs> one of them you re-rolled and the other one was an attack of opportunity. It didn't do anything anyway. <laughs> okay. So we're rolling that. Roll on the crit table. Yeah. Roll D100. Roll that funky music. Oh, roll. 46. 46. 46 on the critical hit table. And this is against Priestess Code. Mm -hmm. Victimized. Opponent provokes attack of opportunity. Extra damage die. I guess that means you get to hit another attack, like hit them again for free. Provokes an attack of opportunity. I don't think you're rolling the right damage dice for your... Oh no, maybe you are. Oh yeah, you are. One, two, six. Cars, please. <laughs> get out of here. Stupid loud, stupid loud Cargo cars. Broom. 1d6 plus Cargo 3. Brrr. Okay. <laughs> so roll another d6. Your extra damage. I swear to God, I don't get it. Five. How, why do you, would you ever need your car to be this loud? It's got to be five. You have a tiny... <laughs> <laughs> don't, tiny dimple. Okie dokie. Where your penis you should be. <laughs> Where your penis should be. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I hear somebody drive by with a big car, I literally yell at them. I go, "Oh my god, your dick must be so huge!" <laughs> Every time. Okay. Even if okay. I'm in a car with the windows up and I know they can't hear me, I just I can't help it. So that said, that they get an attack of opportunity. So that basically means if there were anybody around her right now, they would get. Who of wasn't conscious? Was conscious? If they were conscious. I don't really know. I feel like what it's what it's essentially doing is giving you another shot at hitting them, but that's kind of up to you. Like, like victimized opponent provokes attack of opportunity to me means like they like oh. leave themselves open in such a way that you can get like another quick jab in at All them. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's I think that's probably what it, what its intentions are. In which case, roll another attack. Okay. Another crit. I'm kidding. 
So you lose your first arrow and you can do it. You kind of see that she takes it in the arm and she kind of spins as she does. So you can see that she's visibly kind of disarmed by it. Um, and she kind of focuses your, her attention back on you. You cast another arrow and as she sees you, she kind of like dodges out of the way. Uh, we roll in around here. Is there anything else you want to do with your turn? Uh... A shout fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, and we got this, this gentleman down here. Uh, he's seeing everything that's going down and he's feeling pretty confident. Uh, he's not see- feeling really? confident about <laughs> Randall. The rest, of the, the, the rest of the room seems all right. <laughs> he seems so pretty confident. Randall- all of his friends are like on the ground like turtles. <laughs> like, I'm <laughs> 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 Rand- Randall is the person that he's not feeling confident about. He's gonna, is he going to try and grapple? He's, he's going to try and just be like, it's cool, bro. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Hey, bro, we friends, bro, right? It's cool, bro. bro we, we uh, oh, is he? Is he right? Uh-huh. And he's going to try ra- Oro instead. Did he disengage? He did not disengage. You get an attack. Then he gets whacked. Oh! He, he, that absolutely hits. Go for it. That's it. That is, a, <laughs> well, is that a non-lethal whack? That's a non-lethal whack. <laughs> okay, excellent. In which case, bonk. <laughs> <laughs> just he's like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> so he's just like, he's just, he's kind of disengaged, quote unquote, fighting you. Uh, seeing that Randall has just absolutely bonk, bonk, bonked a bunch of people, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, uh, I gotta, I gotta be, I gotta be over here. I gotta be over here instead. Uh, disengages the fight with you uh, in an attempt to take out the person who's fighting his priestess. And in so doing, gets bonked in the back of the head, <laughs> falls flat on the face, <laughs> skids for a couple of feet, uh, and lands in front of Oro. <laughs> <laughs> we turn to Neroli, who rolls a death saving throw. And succeeds. Jared, get off the turn order. We're now down to Priestess Code. Oh, she rolls a constitution saving throw because you hit her. Um, I clicked the wrong thing. Oh, no, the second attack missed. Uh, that one. She fails. Dun, dun, dun. And when she fails... Whoop. Whoop. What's the reverse? From the vacation. (laughs) 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 Uh, (laughs) From Nugget's vacation, Nugget returns, very confused and dismayed, and very pissed off. That's a margarita Uh, in his (laughs) (laughs) hand. Fuck. Cucumbers. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Returns unharmed. Spoiler alert, he's mad that he's back. (laughs) He he had a drink. Uh, And... Still reeling from the uh, the critical hit that Oro landed, uh, she makes another attack. I have to use her character sheet. Don't type it in. Uh, to Hakim lands a hit for seven points of damage. Oh, his health isn't on there. That's annoying. Uh, that's okay. Seven, did you say? Mm-hmm. What is that weird sound? Why are we hearing some staticky buzz? We're not hearing any staticky buzz. <laughs> is it actually Uh-oh. a cat purring? Is it? Oh, it, it sounded like a z- 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 Yeah, it sounded like. A... Is that like static of stroking cat fur? Oh, that could be it. I don't know if that could be it. I'm not enough. I don't know enough about that. I think that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't uh, usually shock her when I touch her, although it has happened on occasion. <laughs> it's fine now. Calm okay. Right now. Uh, Randall, you're up. Uh, I'm going to be stepping over these bodies. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, up onto the up onto like the remains of the um clint thing for the middle mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna attempt to hit code okie doke it's the sound of nugget returning from banishment that's <laughs> 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 one hit six damage 
Oh, you know, it's because my phone is next near by the microphone, I bet. So it was oh, like maybe. getting signals and shit. Maybe. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to uh, grab my talisman and I'm going to activate my boon of healing. Okay. Roll your heels. It doesn't actually Found cost me. Spinning on his bald head. <laughs> no, it doesn't actually cost you one of your, your things. Uh, wow, a huge two points of health. It's rolling a one on a d8. Bonkers. All of the health. All of the health. And let's change your turn. Yeah. Okie dokie. Nugget! What nugget do? Nugget attack? What did nugget do? Nugget attack. Nugget attack. Nugget attack. 20. That's a hit. Three. Not a huge amount of damage. Sound like you're announcing damage. Three. 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 Uh, mad. But we're now back to Oro. Now, now that random. No, now that Nugget is there. Yeah. Nugget now attacks when you attack as well. Yeah. 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 Can I still hit her from here with both? Yep. Mm -hmm. Sick, bruh. Uh, how, how does she look okay? Is she like looking any? She looks pretty around? bloodied. Yeah, she's got. She's definitely got some open wounds. <laughs> okay, I want to aim for one of those wounds. Uh, I want to shoot her in the tit. Oh, I miss, I miss. can I reroll that? Were you lucky? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, just kind of reroll that. Oh, can I reroll that? <laughs> can I use my inspiration to make that a critical hit? You can use your inspiration to re-roll it. <laughs> can I make it a critical hit? <laughs> you can re-roll it with a plus five. <laughs> I'll take it. It's <laughs> <laughs> a solid negotiation. For real. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Roll yep, your damage. Okay. Roll the quick hit table. So that's actually a uh, thirty-one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll that d one hundred. Not that. Are you rolling maximum and minimum at the same time? <laughs> Thirty-seven. Um. Okay, that's defensive strike plus four AC for one round and an extra damage die. Ooh. So uh, one more d six. <laughs> the answer was yes, so say it the universe. <laughs> Manifest your truth. <laughs> was that another D6 bonus? I thought we were out of D6 bonuses. No, I think we are out of D6 bonuses. So for some reason oh, has it hasn't. Been, has it been an error? Yeah. But I appreciate it regardless. Well, he used his points, so we gotta let him have it now. I think I can <laughs> I think I can reject it. Actually. Okay, there you go. Get your points back. Okay, so that is a grand total of what, 15 points of damage? I think so. Yeah. I feel like you've got like just like plus ten percent crit chance or something on your bow. Like <laughs> <laughs> seems real. to happen way more than anything else. Okay. Right, big points of damage. She's looking fucked up. She's looking real rough. Uh nearly. Oh wait, 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 wait. Nugget Nugget needs oh, to Oh hit. I apologize. Oh, did Nugget not go? Nugget, no, didn't, Nugget didn't go, go. the second time. Oh, did Nugget not go? He went on his turn. He went on his turn and then on my oh, turn. Oh, you're right. Attack. I'm sorry. You're absolutely correct. Yep. He hits. Six. Oh, my God. Nugget coming in clutch with the big dams. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's looking real rough now. Good. Uh, we got a success on the death save there. Yeah. So I'm stabilized now. Excellent. No more death saves. Not going to die. Uh, Priestess Code is looking. It's looking pretty, pretty fucking rough. Um, she is going to. What is she going to do? What is she going to do? What's she going to do? Apologize. And, and get apologize. Nearly up. That'd be nice. Yeah. Decide that she needs Press to make a cult about us. <laughs> Press the wrong button there. One second. Uh, it's been a while since I read up on all of the spells in the world. 
<laughs> oh, you haven't had to do that since you had to deal with the hyacinth, have you? <laughs> it's been, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's been a lot. Uh, okay. She's going to uh, cast a spell upon herself. As she does so, you can see that some of her wounds are closing. She's going to do that. And then she's going to gracefully float the fuck out. <laughs> uh, and so doing so, get a tax of opportunity from all three of you. So please, go ahead. Nugget, bites, 23. Hit. Six. Oh my god, with the fucking clutch. Oh my god. Oh, let her live. Uh oh. Or is it a waste of time a lot of the time? Oh my god, how many crit fail attack of opportunities are we going to have in one day? Okay, like I said, you don't have to roll because it's an attack of opportunity. Uh, uh, okay, right. And it rolls around to Randall's turn. Oh, it's right there. You've just seen <laughs> Priestess Code say, I will not die this day! And she kind of majestically <laughs> away. Oh, Jesus. You also see Nurley bleeding out. <laughs> yeah. I, well, you don't, I'm you technically don't know, not you don't, bleeding out. Oh, that's true, that's true, that's true. You don't know if she's stable or not. I feel like Randall would probably go to Nurley. Okay. Props for sure doing you're... the in-character decision-making. Well, because, like, I'm not sure that killing her is going to solve anything and knocking her <laughs> unconscious is also not going to solve anything <laughs> all right it no, like I, inherently look okay. like a demon or anything so yeah all right so you're going to go over to uh neurally and and do what do some medicine okay be medicined <laughs> <laughs> oh, big medicine! Yeah, it's just like folks the you biggest with, medicine. Uh, the course, quarter staff, and that's the <laughs> uh, hey, you climb, wake up. I don't even know, like I don't know, like, just but, so I think you stabilize, don't you? Yeah, yeah, that's what uh, normally it would do. Mm -hmm. And you can't crit skill checks. No, nope. uh, but I love the idea of you being able to give her hit points, but you can't. Uh, but you, you can are now one hundred percent um, certain. That she is in a stable condition. Okay. And that she's going to be fine. Shout to or like she's all right. She's okay. <laughs> okay. Nugget. Nugget cars after that bitch. Jeez, you can't <laughs> just banish a giant bat and think you're going to get away <laughs> with it. <laughs> you can't. You can't outfly a giant bat either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. What's Nugget going to do? Bite. 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 That's a hit. Three. Bitey boy. Three points of damage. Okie dokie. Uh, Oro. Can I bow her from here or should I move a bit? Um... And that's the you should probably move. You should probably move. You should probably move. <laughs> okay. I'd say if you attack there, because of the way that the door opens inwards, I would say that it's probably still somewhat ajar, uh, okay. and she would get partial cover. But if you move, then you can get you can get a normal attack. Can I stab? Is she off the ground? She is hovering. Yeah. Too high for me to hit, or can I hit her if I was hitting her with my daggers? You, uh, you'd have to jump. <laughs> 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 but that can be just that could just be flavor orders. text that could just be flavor text you know at the end of the breakfast club when he jumps him in and pumps his fists in the air <laughs> that's how it looks when oro attacks though like super triumphant i'd <laughs> like to just point out that there is an issue that come, becomes apparent soon is that you don't have water walking anymore yes i, I that's what i thought that that would probably yeah, happen uh -huh. but, uh, but for now we're not there for so, now no uh, you're fine for now so as i run up i'm gonna uh, get my daggers out. Okay. Just one dagger because I can't attack mm -hmm. them both in the first time. 
Sure. Uh, uh, dang them. And I want to apply Hunter's Mark too. Okie dokie. Uh, I don't know if you can do Hunter's Mark and change weapon to daggers. Okay. Oh, no, you're right. Hunter. I can't. I can't. I can't. You're right. Um, but doing a good old jump in stabbo, mm -hmm. that we can do. That's a hit. Eight. That's eight points of damage. She's looking so fucked up. <laughs> and a Nugget gets a turn to hit because I've. Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> 15. That's a hit. Oh, no, wait, it's not a hit. It's not a hit. Uh, oh, it's geez. so close, but it's not a hit. I'm sorry. Bullshit. It's so close, but it's not a hit. Uh, I okay, shout pussy at attack. her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Neroli's turn. She's fine. Priestess goes. <laughs> Just what breathing heavily in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. 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 What do we got? What do we got? Uh, that's not going to help. <laughs> oh, I could do this. You know, she's a cleric. Just heal herself back up to full again and be like, bye, bitches. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that is plus something. Plus another something. Uh, and she's going to... Let's move, remove the super fucking cool photo. We're going to... Well, not photo. Image. Uh, she's going to get attack opportunities from both of these. Okay. As she... Uno. Dos. Trance. That's one hit. It's another jumping Mario swipe. Five. Five points of damage. Priestess code's getting out. She's getting away. Randall. Uh, I do have darts. Do you have run so fast that you can tread on water? Uh, yes. I believe you just told me I have that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> My kingdom for a health potion. <laughs> I'd love to be able to do something, but I'm unconscious. I'm like, that's cool. It's great. I'm level six now and I have like this cool feat that allows healing to be super awesome and badass, <laughs> but I'm the only one who can do it. <laughs> awake. I am sleepy. Doesn't Randall have a potion? A potion that it got healed your festering wound? Would that not be helpful here? Yeah, I I feel like be... he's got he's got the ointment. Kill, though. I, I just have the it, ointment. It, but it also it would cure literally anything. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I was just mention it. Uh, I'm going to throw a dart, which I've never done before. <laughs> oh. You've never seen it, but somehow, somewhere, upon Randall's person, <laughs> are some oh, darts. Is it even in range? Darts have a really tiny range. Uh, oh, it's in long range. It's in, it, so is that disadvantage? Twenty. It's twenty sixty. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it? Is it? Or is it over sixty that is a disadvantage? Up to sixty. Yeah, the way that ranged weapons work is the first is the the normal range of the weapon, and the oh, second okay. number is the what your max possible hit with disadvantage. It's like a, it's like a. That's a long fucking way to throw a dart. Imagine yeah. you're at the you're at the pub and you're thirty feet away. <laughs> okay, so Ten. that is a miss. Blop. Is priestess is she getting out of this? Is that what's happening, or are we are we chasing her the fuck down with nugget? Well, I mean, I because we can we can we can continue this. You guys standing on the edge of sewer water throwing shit at her. Um. And Funny. and Nugget chases her off, if you if you want. But there's no guarantee that she won't just leave. Um, or do you want to just kind of? Randall doesn't have anything else because Dart is the longest range weapon he has, and it's not long enough. What what I wanted to do was to make Nugget run into her, so she fell in the sewer, 
so she would be covered in shit. And then if she gets away, then she's covered in shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, tell you what, shall we we could do a bit of a narrative skip here to to avoid the dice roll. I would love to kill her, but if that's not going to be a viable option, <laughs> okay. then dipping well, her in shit is <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying that it's impossible to kill her. I'm just saying it's going to be a lot of trading dice whilst she heals herself up and flies away over a river of shit. Uh, Dip her so in the river you. of shit. Dip her in the river yeah. of shit. So I'm, what I'll say is, if you let her go, we're going to find a way to cover her in shit. Excellent. If you want to chase her and, and continue the fight, we can do that. N- Neroli's down, so unless Neroli is going to get up anytime soon and wants to come and Not fight. Her own. Am I supposed to... How long are you unconscious when you stabilize? You roll like a d4 and it's that many hours, right? Yeah. You're out for a while. Mm-hmm. Would roll yeah. not a one when it's important to roll low. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got, oh, we got no. Adam knowing Okay, chat. somebody, you're out for a short rest. Oh, for an hour, oh. which is a one. Oh, oh, there you go. Sweet. There you go. Thank goodness, because somebody used to always make me roll d4s. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't think it was me. Mm-mm. No. I said, <laughs> Just, that's why I said somebody, not you. Yeah, sometimes somebody is me. <laughs> somebody. Is no. Okay, yes. Mass, mass. But when I mean somebody, you, I'm very obviously going somebody. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Well, in which case, we'll narratively we'll say that what happens is Priestess Code, for the short duration that she still has wings, uh, darts across and bleeding, pouring into the flurry of shit underneath her. Uh, is just agonizingly flapping her wings to keep herself afloat, darting for the exit. As she does so, you have Nugget, who is just hounding her, chasing her down. And she manages to have a small tussle just above the sewage, which Nugget manages to just kick up into a load of shit all over Priestess Code, uh, whilst somehow not laying very much on Nugget at all, almost pristine clean. Uh, but Priestess Code does manage to get away. Um, I will, I will, I will clarify this for both our viewers and my players that that was not the guaranteed result of this combat. Was there was no invulnerability shield of bullshit? Uh, I didn't, I didn't fudge anything there. No, the um, invulnerability shield was definitely the silence spell. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she gets away um, to fight another day, perhaps she's gone uh and we can return once more to this map priestess code lives on nurily is badly wounded but she is stable the rest of you are surrounded by the unconscious members of this cult to the chaste redeemers I like to think that as the minute ends, the wings like wrap around me in like a, like not a fetal position, but like a protective one and then like fade away after that happens, after the minute. How are we going to get out of here? What do you mean? Oh, because of the sewer? Uh, Yeah, and like the deep sewer water and the unconscious party member. I mean... That's... We could rest up in here. True. With these, with our it. new friends. Yeah. <laughs> our pile of friends. Pile of friends. Now. Pile of friends. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your. Uh, I mean, you can do short rests, which will bring nobody back. Um, and I mean, you don't have to be asleep to do that. Like, you're not going to make yourself vulnerable. Okay. Yeah. yeah, short uh, rest is just light activity. I am going to tie up all of the cult members though, with my rope. <laughs> okay. Nearly <laughs> approves. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere okay. you feel just like that's <laughs> how she would feel about it. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're going to spend your time. You can spend your hit die if you want to to rest up. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And nearly... After a, after a short while being tended to by Randall, Randall who rolled heck and high, uh, who just kind of tends to a couple of your knows wounds. nothing about medicine. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, enables you to, to, to come to 
within the hour. Uh, as you do so, you feel fucking rough. Oh, yeah, it's not like that. <laughs> I think it's like uh, she's just been kind of like laying there um, and there's like like a small stirring and you just hear uh... <laughs> Are you okay? Welcome back. <sighs> what happened? That bitch got away. Did you tell Evan? No, we haven't. We're still in the sewers. I'm going to cast a third level cure wounds on myself. <laughs> Let's see. What did I get? Oh, got a seven and a six and a six. Of course, I don't need to use the super cool thing that I just got <laughs> because finally I roll well on healing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's exactly my full health. Oh, oh damn. Oh, no, no. That's way over my full health. Sorry. Just kidding. I was thinking of somebody else. <laughs> way over way almost over. immediately you feel completely rejuvenated but you still have a few aches here and it almost feels like the wounds the cuts that you had all over your body you can still phantom feel them somewhat but functionally you are very healthy <sighs> all right let's wake them up i was gonna have a look in this door Ooh. okay that's also a good idea. Oh, let me just open the GM dynamic lighting. Boop. It's a small room. <laughs> it's a small room. Wow. <laughs> In here you find uh, that this is kind of like an office space. You find that there is a um, uh, a desk. It's got some belongings. There is one bed in here uh, that is clearly of higher quality than the others outside. Yeah. Classic sewer office. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else in the sewer office? So if you were to investigate this location, you would find a couple of items, including one scroll and uh, five gold pieces worth of coin. Scroll of what? You could spend a short rest and figure out what it is. Later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so you are now here in this stinky shit sewer uh, with a number of unconscious people. <laughs> There's a book on here, right? There is a book on there, yeah. Shall we, shall, shall we take a look at the book? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> How many unconscious people be- are there? Uh, there were five. Nope. Yes, no, there were five. Then um, eventually when we wake them all up and put them in like a line of people that have been like tied to each other and their hands bound or whatever thing it is we do to march them out of here, I can just cast water walking on all of us. And we'll just walk out. Smart. That'll happen eventually. With my last third level spell slot. No, Adam. Oh, Adam. No. Adam, no. Adam, no. Adam, no. 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 Tie them together, not no. sew no, no, them no. together. <laughs> no. 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 Never no. go ask to mouth. No. <laughs> Didn't have to say it. <laughs> well, we already got the stitches in. Oh, it's unnecessary. Oh. <laughs> Katie! <laughs> I was quoting a movie. You guys just don't... You, I like watch them sometimes and read it and that's why i don't watch movies <laughs> okay <laughs> <Door two. laughs> let's read this book or not not, not fully just want to <laughs> have, have a look have, 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 a, have a brief, have a brief yeah. count. uh so this appears to be uh some kind of religious textbook uh it looks like essentially like a kind of a, a bible of sune um but it looks like certain passages are highlighted it looks a little bit like selective cheese uh, cheeses uh <laughs> teachings <Jesus. Ooh>. selective <laughs> teachings <laughs> have been have been circled uh and kind of underlined uh that appear to circumvent a lot of the teachings that you can see like, it's just things that you'll like certain highlight things you'll read 
Um, it looks uh, a brief glance like a um, kind of dogged, well loved book uh, that somebody has kind of just picked select passages out of. I'm taking yeah. it. Okay. Okay. I side eye Oro taking it. I'm taking it because. I, I, I had noticed the side eye. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm taking it because if this bitch comes back, she's having nothing. <laughs> she's having nothing in this place. Okay, fair. I was a little worried after you took the pamphlet and then all this, <laughs> and then you take the book. Don't worry. It's burning too. <laughs> was there anything okay. else on this mantelpiece? Was it, did you say it was candles? Or Just something? standard religious paraphernalia. Is there any good incense I could take? There's some incense. It's strong enough to fight off some sewer smell. It's but not is necessarily it like good, gross, but it's like strong. Like patchouli or sandalwood, or is it good yeah, stuff? Yeah, gross. It's gross. Uh, patchouli sandalwood. Sune, of course. God, <laughs> never mind. I'm leaving it. <laughs> the grappling passage is highlighted. <laughs> <laughs> A pyramid scheme pamphlet. Followers of the lactose and their selective cheeses. <laughs> I am a member of that congregation. <laughs> <laughs> Big time. Smells like a sewer in here. Uh, Meant the cheese one, but uh, you know, actually. Hmm. Yeah, the lactose intolerant thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> so you've got your line of prisoners. Some lip sewn people. Oh, definitely going to while they're still asleep. Do like a light scissor cut to get the stitches out of the rest of them. Fuck them. Also, they need to brush their teeth. Gross. <laughs> also, they need to probably eat. Yes. We'll I that. assume that they had like stitches that were wide enough that a good barrier or something could be shoved between the two of them. Because otherwise, yeah, how the fuck are they going to eat? Going to die, bud. You're going to die. You're going to die. Uh, but in any case, you cut them, you cut them free. And they all start to slowly come to. But only I'll after they've been like joined into like bound like chain gang sort of. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got them. You got them. Mm -hmm. And they start to they start to wake up. The first is let's choose at random. Do 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 do. I can roll it. I'll roll it. One mm -hmm. d six. Sixes reroll. Excuse me. Sixes is all of them. They all make <laughs> up the same. At the same time. I was going to say, uh, it is Conan. The elderly man wakes up. The one who's I had the that. shit knocked out of him by uh, <laughs> time. He's it's all not lethal. <laughs> oh! 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 Conan, my dude, is fine. Talking's fine. Mm -hmm. Dude, this was a, some fucking mad cult shit, okay? You can talk, it's fine. Oh, he did, his hands are, his hands are, hands are bound, so he can't <laughs> cover his mouth. <laughs> she lied to you. She's an evil bitch. <sighs> Following a false prophet doesn't gain you any favor from a god. He looks sad. What about Phyllis, Conan? <laughs> I like the look the book. Yeah, I was like, what was the name? Phyllis. <laughs> <laughs> she wonders where you are. <laughs> it's okay. He cries. As he cries, Jared comes back. He's, oh, he's conscious now. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, fucking Damn Jared! Oh, fucking Jared! <laughs> and he wakes up. Morning! He spits, he spits at you. I'm not close enough for him to, it, to reach it's, you. It's limp. It's limp. It's gonna hit, it hits himself on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Why? Mm. You can just talk, mm. you know. You can just talk. Your false prophet is gone. You can see that he's like abandoned you, collecting himself, trying to meditate. She, she left you. Here. Your idol crumbled. <laughs> you fucking glares, dark as you. <laughs> <laughs> as he starts to glare at you, Magnus comes about. Magnus is the one who left and is not here. <laughs> but he knocked himself out on the way out of the seas, <laughs> and then <laughs> he's woken up. <laughs> In a distant land. <laughs> but he's the one whose girlfriend just like moved on and was like, yeah. "Oh yeah, I hope he's alive." And we're like, mm, "Yeah, okay." That's right. He's he's gone. He's he's left. So really, you don't have that many people here. You've got four people here. Oh wait, did he actually get away? Yeah, he fucking liked it. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I don't know. I was unconscious. He, he's gone. Uh, so instead, you have the two nameless people. Well, I mean, I know their names, but you don't. Have they woken up? Yes. Does one look less angry than the other? <laughs> uh, one of them looks livid, and it's the person who's just completely shaved from head to toe. Hard so to the tell, other though. one looks less angry than that. Yes. Just going to like kneel down in front of them. Uh, I'm assuming they're on the ground, so I'm not like I, getting below them. them more like evening the playing field and just do a. What's your name? Philip. <laughs> My lips hurt. Oh. How did you end up here? Priestess code. She told me such beautiful things about, about Sune, about appreciating life's beauty, the way it's meant to be appreciated. Any god who tells you that you have to harm yourselves in order to follow them isn't a good god. I don't know started whether that's off, Sune. Started off so nice. When I was with Priest Evan, he was so sweet to me and priestess code she she found out that i went to the forbidden kiss and she took me down here she bound my lips i felt like i had to do everything she said she's got wings she's got wings at this point you can see jared just kind of like shut the fuck up oh, mm, fuck. Yeah, that seems to be a bit of a phenomenon going on. I'm not really sure why that keeps happening to people. He seems very angry, but has managed to retain his silence once again. Why is that angry, dude? She left. That why she left. She didn't. <laughs> she didn't. She didn't want you to go with her. She just left you. Was it because you did all this for a false prophet? Yeah. He's extremely pissed off. You can see there's a vein bulging in his head. <laughs> I've forgotten the name of the, the succubi. Arion and Caridian. And Sharia, the one who died. That's... Were you this angry when you killed Sharia? Sh 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 <laughs> I've forgotten it already. Sharia. Shania Sh Twain. Sh <laughs> <laughs> if you're a cult leader, but I'm different. <laughs> <laughs> also, I have wings. <laughs> and itchy. Yeah, that's why the guy's so angry, because he's itchy. Mm -hmm. 
she defied love. She deserved to die. Just closing my window. <laughs> <laughs> so, by all accounts, the only person who felt that Sune wanted you to suffer and wanted you to murder in her name was specifically Priestess Code, and you believed her over everyone else simply because of wings? She knew that we had to suffer because of the things that we had done to our loved ones. No one else understood that we need to suffer, to be redeemed, to atone for our sins, to atone for our sins. He looks over at the other gentleman. Doesn't sound like suffering if you're killing other people. It sounds as like causing suffering, which is worse. We're also atoning for our sins by cleansing ourselves and others. Cleansing the world of evil. No, no you just you were made it worse. <laughs> you were feeding the ego of a false prophet. She's so, not just a false prophet. She left you. A With shepherd doesn't leave their flock. I don't know why she left. Because she just wanted people to worship her. And she's a I massive pussy. To... <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? And she's a massive pussy. <laughs> <laughs> she sort of stayed here and died. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. I'll, I'll lead us. Well, you're not in front right now, but we're going to lead you to the authorities. You can't do that. We're exercising our religion. Murdering people. Religion doesn't give you a pass on that. We're doing what's right. No. No, sweetie, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've been lied to, no. Was that all it took? Was wings? That's it? And you believed everything she said? She just understood that we needed to atone. She told you that. Did you feel that way before she told you that? I felt that way. You do th things, horrible things to the people that you love. You can't just be forgiven. You need to suffer. Why? Because that's how I felt. I couldn't just... Kent just... I couldn't just have Kent forgive me. So you felt so guilty you had to kill someone else? That sounds very selfish. I had to do something. You could have done good things. I thought I was doing good things. <laughs> They're devils! Technically, no. I'm actually. <laughs> <laughs> actually, they're demons. <laughs> but they've been accepted by the hells because of historical shit. <laughs> uh, does it matter what someone's nature is if they don't do anything to hurt anyone? I don't know. They couldn't that help the, the way <laughs> they... <laughs> 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 they couldn't help the way they were born any more than you could help the circumstances of your birth. And they chose to just live a life making their way without killing people. You've killed people, though. We did what we did and we'll be judged by Sune. Oh, I expect that somebody else will be doing the judgment. Anyway, time to go, I think. And I look at uh, Oro and Randall, like, unless you have questions or something. No, let's just get out of this sewer. 
losing my religion. Good job, fool. <laughs> okay, I will use my last third level spell slot to cast water walking on all of us. I want to ransack the place for everything. A fancy <laughs> bed? I'm going to unmake the bed. Unmake <laughs> it. <laughs> Stab it. Rip the sheets. Yeah. yeah no comfort for you, bitch. <laughs> Actually, there's a stone walls, right? Uh huh. Good, just light it on fire. Light it on fire. <laughs> light it on fire. And not in a sewer. Please don't in a sewer. <laughs> <laughs> Have we not learned our lesson about flammable light things? I don't know anything about methane. All I knew was flour. <laughs> <laughs> he really looks around and like, no flour here. Fire safe area. <laughs> <laughs> and meals apparently weird. I guess all the flour is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't light it on fire. Just throw the bed in the sewer. Yeah. Ooh, there you yeah. go. Block the sewer. I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Do they go like like as you as you go outside and throw the bed into the into the waters, you see it start kind of go drifting down towards <laughs> this like this thing whirlpool of shit at the other end of it. <laughs> and then it just gets to the edge and it just kind of peters over and falls down and you hear a clunk, 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 clunk. <laughs> sploosh <laughs> sploosh sploosh <laughs> at some day there's going to be some poor maintenance worker there's going to be a blockage they're going to go down there to figure out what's on and they're like how is there a whole bed down here how <laughs> What's going to be next, Tom? Black powder in the air? <laughs> We're going to have a fight in a gunpowder warehouse? Don't bring a knife to a black me. powder fight, Listen, right? I didn't say anything about there being methane gas everywhere. All right? I didn't no, I just anything. went like this, and Docs was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, he's right. Maybe, he's maybe right, not. but I didn't say anything. Okay. Sorry, Randall was like, maybe don't. <laughs> No, 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 no. That's not necessary. Let's save that for another day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's save that for an open air environment. <laughs> so what are we doing? Marching everyone out and up the way we got in. The way you got in. Okay. So not out the staircase. I don't think we knew about it. St oh, right. The one from the market or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of worried about going back to the market. Yeah, with I don't With prisoners, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Let's just make them climb out. <laughs> Their hands are bound in front of them. Okay. It's fine. Okay. They're roped together, so as long as they don't all fall. Yeah. <laughs> or just the top one falls that they first Can you imagine back. climbing up? You've got your hands bound like this. You're like just, just trying to like shimmy your way up at the same time as being attached to other people who are above and behind you. <laughs> yeah, sounds easy. Easy. All no right. Problem. So you march out onto That's the... That's in fact how they climb mountains. Except with their hands bouncing. That yeah, they I was don't. gonna say that seems like a core component. But being of tethered that. to other people, definitely. That's 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 that that's not the part I had a problem with. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So are we Oh you never front cuff someone, you gotta front cuff them if they wanna try and climb ladders. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> that was the only reason, otherwise it would definitely not be front cuff. Are we just marching them out to the street? Where are you taking them? Is there like a an arrester station, a guard station? A... Hello, arresters. <laughs> Hello, the arresters. Got some Hello. criminals to turn in here. <laughs> Is that Anne in the background? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, Anne. It's, she's in her room. She just gets really loud oh. sometimes. <laughs> um, so well, and also it's so hot that if any of us close our doors and the airflow completely ceases, and currently uh. we're at a comfortable temperature, so I'm scared to close my door. <laughs> if I do, it might start okay. sweating terribly. So. <laughs> okay. Tom says hi. She's got her headphones on. She can't hear me. Good God, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> Love me. Uh, okay. She does. So you march your your your, your posse. New pals, yeah. Up onto the surface. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and you find yourself being stared down by a couple of guardsmen. What's going on here then? Murderers hiding in the sewers. Bloody hell. <laughs> and you didn't like kill him. Well, no, aren't we supposed to turn them in or something? <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> I 
I guess, yeah. There might be space in the prison. Where oh, right, it? you want us to take him? Sorry, yeah. Um, <laughs> Bob. <laughs> yes. He doesn't know his friend's names. <laughs> Get him. And I'll take this one. And then I guess you guys want to come with us, take the others? Just help us along. We can just take the rope and probably pull them all, but, you know. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. We should then. probably come along. I'll I be guess. honest, though. There's no reward. We got enough prisoners. <laughs> Does it Did not you, usually matter? We're, what... not, we're not buying no more. That's not. <laughs> Let's just leave this town. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the prisoners, I guess. Because they murdered someone. Shuffles. You fucking stink, you do. Came out of the sewers. Well, gross. I can't lead them off. They didn't, didn't even ask what, what they did. They didn't even seem to care when I said that they murdered someone. Were they real guards, like in the uniform and everything? They got they had they had, they had a uniform. <laughs> Typical it's cops. Code in <laughs> costume. Well, there was more than one, so that would be pretty impressive. <laughs> Should we go to the temple? Yeah, yeah I, I think, think so. Yeah. No. Gonna press digitation us all. It's not smelly. Like clean everything up on the way. So that we don't smell like the sewer. You still got your water walking, so every puddle you step over is just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm extra Jesusy the whole way there. <laughs> In fact, if there's a policy. fountain, I'm gonna step up and walk over the fountain just a, just as a matter. You get the of opportunity. <laughs> you get the opportunity, and people around you are in shock and awe, and more attention is brought to you. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. I don't even care. <laughs> going back to this temple i'm gonna be like look what you've done when you return to the temple of sune and as you step through the walls uh, the walls, the walls. <laughs> we're, we're ghosts now <laughs> step through the front door we died <laughs> uh you all died in that sewer uh you see evan stops a conversation with somebody and it says friends how's it going did you find our congregation? Y yes. Yes, we did. That's we excellent. We have uh, big big news. Well, where, where, where are they? <laughs> Turn them over to the guard. What they murdered that? someone in the name of Sune. No, they bloody didn't. Sune Pri is about love. Priestess Code started a cult in the sewers. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, come <laughs> on, man. What are you talking about? She bound all of their mouths together. It was horrible. Then she ran off oh, like a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what? Kanan, have you seen Code? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I have not seen her. Am I old? No, no. <laughs> this is an evil voice. If you remember, he had an evil oh, voice. Oh yes, but he wasn't. I remember the evil you one. you telling us. Oh yes, I gave he him an, an evil, evil voice. voice. And but I he was wasn't like, the evil one. Oh, is that supposed to be an evil voice? I yes. thought he had a low it was, voice. It was supposed to be evil, but he's not evil. What's the surprise? Well, bloody hell, she's gone off and started some kind of cult, apparently. No, that's what? No, <laughs> <my thing. laughs> that's Shit. I do that. I've been trying to do that for years. <laughs> yeah. I'm the creepy snappy one. Uh, <laughs> I practice his voice. <laughs> he actually has the same he actually has the same accent as uh uh Evan. He just like gave himself a few ways <laughs> to distinguish himself. Now listen, these are quite Serious accusations. Now, we haven't seen Priestess Code. She's got nowhere to defend herself. Whoa, already slipped a couple actions there. <laughs> <laughs> Went through like three in one sentence. 
She's no way to defend herself. Do well, she have proof? She has no way to defend herself, is that what you said? No way to defend herself. She's not here. Oh. You got your accusations of her being crazy. I, I, I bring out the Bible of, that I got and, and now, show the that? pages. That's our sacred tome. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, code, that's no good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's missed this whole part. Like, that's my favourite passage. Oh. <laughs> totally. It's about the love circles. That's where we get the love circles. <laughs> she totally, it's not, it's not in there. Oh. Bloody hell. So she was doing what now? Basically, people who were going to the forbidden kiss she was punishing for for being quote unquote bad to whoever <laughs> their partners were, depending on whatever the situation was. Oh. That doesn't make any sense. We're no. all about love. We're all about love and compassion. Yeah. These were people in yeah. Perhaps you should speak difficult to situations. The... You know. Perhaps you should speak to those that remain at the forbidden kiss, and um, maybe the church can find some way to atone for murdering one of their. Now listen here. I want to make it very clear that we do not condone this action at all. The priest will nose. be expelled, excommunicated. Oh, what justice! Well, if we find her, of course she'll be turned over to the authorities. Ah, yes, we did that to everyone else, and they seemed quite unenthusiastic about it. In fact, they said they weren't buying more prisoners, so... I'll be honest, the authorities here are a bit lax. Now, we can't be having this priestess code spreading out this reputation for our oh my my goddess Sune I'll be honest with you these accusations are real serious if she's done these things she might need to be taken out maybe there's some kind of way that I'd be able to repay people who would do such a thing but if she were to come to me and repent her sins, then as a lover of the goddess of compassion, we would give her an opportunity to, to atone. You mean you'd give her an opportunity to lead more people astray and cause them to murder in the name of Sune again? There would be no way that she would ever make it to priestess. Do you know she has wings? What? <laughs> she has wings. Oh, she doesn't? Yeah, she does. I've never seen no wings. She cast, like, some kind of thing that made no, like, sounds happen in the sewers. She was casting shit. I was shooting her. She was healing herself back up. She had lots of defenses. Well, I mean, having some kind of magic is quite... Usual, but not wings. She definitely had wings. She did have wings. She had wings? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big ones. Like what? Like she could fly. Like feathers? On wings. I don't know if you ever described her wings. Were they feathered? Were they bat wings? What were they? They Skeletal. were celestial. <laughs> they were radiant. So but they were they extremely look... similar to your wings. Okay. Did they have the same like coloring and everything? The coloring was the only thing that was different. What color were they? Hers were a kind of uh, an amber almost. Describe that. <laughs> That's bloody crazy. I didn't teach you no spells about that. She seemed to have a particular vendetta against anyone who might have wings of some kind, too. It was strange. That sounds very strange. Who has wings? 
Code. Oh, angels. Like actual angels. There's no way she's an actual angel doing things like that. No. Did uh, she had like a little bit of a reaction to to us mentioning that maybe someone turned her down at some point? <laughs> I wonder if, uh, do you know anything about that? Anything that? Did she kind of make a move on anyone? Did she was she trying to <laughs> love circle no. went wrong? Any? <laughs> uh, it's not not that I'm aware of. Love circle. Um, Inside check. <laughs> Go for it. Where's my insight? Oh my god, I forgot that I'm not great at insight. Damn. Okay, one second. <laughs> Eighteen. Uh, no, you you believe him. Nothing. Okay. Uh, nothing so far that Evan has given you has suggested that he's a fibber. Okay. Um. So Led astray, maybe, but. <laughs> you see, I've got connections with the forbidden kiss. Mm. I believe that it is one's right as consenting adult and consenting within relationships to be able to spend time with whom you appreciate the most be it via financial transaction or otherwise um, and as a beloved Sune know much about love of all kinds we've always had a good relationship with the forbidden kiss but they, they like to keep their their, their business quite quiet so Co didn't know about them and our relationship because sometimes I recommend the forbidden kiss to some of our clients not our clients our clergy that's where why mm. that so he didn't say client okay that's, where, that's that's something that nobody would pick up on and that wasn't what I meant <laughs> <laughs> did you see like the eyebrows did I, like... did I read that yeah okay <laughs> um I was literally opening my mouth to be like, clients, eh? Um, uh, it just seems like everybody needs a bit of loving. Sometimes you can't get it from where you need it. And if everyone's consenting, there's no reason why not. The girls over there, they might have horns. They might have cloven hooves. But they're nice. They, well, they don't mean harm. There's one fewer of them. Thanks to your congregation and thanks to Code. That is a pity. Well. I'll have to deal with Code then. Mm -hmm. I might put out a bounty. I know of a perfect Today's... place to do a lot of back. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. Maybe she'll come back for her things and I'll uh, make sure that we get apprehending her. But you've done an amicable job and I'm very happy for your uh, business. I'm glad that we were able to help you with your cursed ring. Now, by ways of your payment. Bear with me, please. And he shuffles away. He returns shortly with some bags of coins. And there's 10 gold pieces in each. And he gives one to each of you. Now, I'm afraid it's not much for adventurers like you. This one piece of hair that's curled up here is driving me fucking. I nuts. love it. It's adorable. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like getting, a little it's Superman. Getting carved tomorrow. <laughs> it's getting carved tomorrow. It's going. Uh, <laughs> but it's all we can do. We appreciate. I look around at the like grand ass cathedral, and I'm like, mm. <laughs> listen. When this place was made. We were doing a bit better off for ourselves than we are now. Probably fewer congregation members killing people then. I'm sensing some <laughs> aggression here. Yeah, uh, just by the way, before I forget, uh, Magnus wasn't... Uh, he ran away. So he wasn't taken to the police. So 
I don't know where Magnus is going to be. But he oh, didn't... He's not gone to Rasheen, then. Well, I don't know. He left whilst we were fighting and didn't want to fight us after he saw my bat <laughs> <laughs> which is the smartest one of the group so uh -huh. just so you know he's just somewhere around if you see him he's a young boy that uh magnus there and maybe i'll have a good old chat with him mm. and uh maybe let the authorities know but uh we really appreciate what you've done here today I'm sorry that your first run in with Sune in our temple here in Welloon has been a negative one. But the world's a, it's a difficult place. It's not all black and white. There's a tiny fly in here. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> Evans Rehab Center for Wayward Cultists. <laughs> what oh is this? <laughs> it's Superman. <laughs> Can't be dealing with it. Oh, it's precious. Leave Get it. Get out of here. Stop it. Hide the infamous Kitsune. How's it going? <laughs> Cry havoc and bring out the scissors. It's getting it's getting snipped to moss. <laughs> Cry havoc and let loose the dogs of cut. What? When I get sick of it tomorrow, this this was a this was a this was a self a self cut, <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna re self cut it because I don't want the coronas. No, so no. you are given your cash dollar. Yes. Chink. Thank and you. you are given your, your your payment. Mutter something under my breath about how. Perhaps the city would be better off without them at all, and just turn around to leave. <laughs> and as, as you leave, he says, I love you, each and every one of you. I give him a hug. <laughs> <laughs> he envelops you in a As Neroli's like walking away, I'm like, quick, quick. <laughs> 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 quick, so she can't judge me. Quick, quick, yeah. quick. <laughs> and he gives you the biggest, warmest cuddle. Excellent. And then he offers one to Randall. <laughs> uh, go on, go on, experience it. Oh, oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, he brings it in, and it is an amazing cuddle. Oh my god! I'm not taking in a fact, leaflet though. When was the last time you had a cuddle, Randall? I don't know. Oh, too long ago. Oh. Too long. And yet here you are. Do you have a bit of a cry? Roll for cry. Uh, Roll for cry. <laughs> Constitution saving throw. <laughs> Constitution saving throw. Quick. <laughs> oh. Oh. You can see he a tear, but he, he absorbs it back into his face. <laughs> <laughs> he had a grapple earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> Just like instinctively go to attack and like, wait, no. <laughs> Friend. I love the idea of like I start to walk away and I get to the door and I stop and I look back just as they've stopped doing the hugs. You're really and like, yeah. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> push the door and leave. Okay. Right. Well, you leave the temple of Sune, uh, thirty gold richer. Uh, out there somewhere is Priestess Code. Was he? You recognize. <laughs> Upon reflection, <laughs> that Priestess Code is an Asimar. An Asimar and an ass. <laughs> is something that only Neurally would have any understanding of from teaching and upbringing, etc. Uh, so that's the only person that, that is a, apparent to. Delayed apparent, but apparent nonetheless. And ahead of you, the world the world is open. What you guys want to do with where you go next is completely up to you. Uh, so we'll end our session here. Obviously, you still have your quest to go off and find
find the smugglers uh, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Roderick Black Eyes Shelley. Uh, but you're in Walloon. You can look for other quests and stuff if that's what you want to do. You could always go back home. <laughs> We should probably check on Rasheen. Make sure that Magnus doesn't go back and like kill her when he finds her with someone else. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, that's going to be Neroli's suggestion. Yeah. Yep, I think we should probably do that. Change the locks, yeah. girl. Change the locks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that concludes today's session. Big old stab fest. Mm hmm. Lots of stabbing, lots of knocking old men unconscious. Lots, lots of, of knocking lots of people unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that is it for today. Nice. No cliffhanger, just a quest resolution. <laughs> the resolvers resolved another quest. <laughs> the solutionists <laughs> completed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sweet. Right. What are you doing stream wise today, Jenny? I'll be back in like half an hour uh, for a bit, probably Animal Crossing, I would assume. <laughs> Hi, Ray. Is it over? Well, well D, D is over, yes. For now. Hmm. I'll be back Until in next day. week. Until <laughs> next week. Sunday, also... Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> also, Jenny's stream in 30 minutes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. D and D is over until next week. Is what specifically uh -huh. I was responding to when they yeah. said it's over. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. For In clarification. Case, if that's all. Yeah. That's all. See folks. you next week. That's probably. all, folks. Au revoir. Bye. Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir.